Envision a sanctuary where community and sustainability are the cornerstones of living. In this haven, every family is able to grow their own food, children flourish through homeschooling tailored to unlock their full potential, and education extends beyond textbooks, instilling self-worth and a deep understanding of the world around them. Here, goodwill isn't just an ideal, it's the essence of daily life, where respect for law and order harmonizes with the community's resourcefulness. This place isn't just a dream, it's a call to action for everyone who believes in a better, more connected way of living. Join us in building a future where each individual's contributions create a tapestry of enduring harmony and prosperity. Join us in Ho Tapistan. Welcome to the fourth annual Grifties and the first ever live Grifty Awards! And now for your host, Uncle Hotep and Hotep Jesus! Yo, no George, but I can't even breathe in this joint. <laughs> That's fucked up. He working on that Coon of the Year Award. Black people, am I right? We've got some great categories tonight including athlete. We'll say what's up to your dad. Season's COVID-19. Who, who did you want? Hamlin? Hamlin's a sleeper. Hamlin's a sleeper. <laughs> Female, musical, celebrity, people's political grifty, the Hall of Fame, and a surprise category. Y'all see we professional, we got the teleprompter and shit. And of course, the one everyone is waiting for, Grifter of the Year Award. From podcasts to movies. DJ Protocol. Yeah, DJ, that's the time to do it. Uh, this is not a grift. I really think Little Nas X is a gay demon. How dare Unlike you? Unlike most modern award shows, none of these women have penises. Women shouldn't speak anyways. Y'all pick the blackest room for a black. Paint the walls white so I can see y'all next time. All coons look alike to me. Some of you white people, too. Some of y'all look like you came from 8 Mile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're halfway through, no one's been shot yet. But I'm going to say at the Grifty Awards, there's only one person more arrogant, more self-assured than me, and that's Hotep Jesus. Grifter of the year. Uh, clap it off for old Uncle Hotep. Hopefully my kids will watch this and be inspired and stuff like that. Fuck them kids. <laughs> I'm looking for my wallet. I'm like, oh, thank God he didn't take it. Thank God. Save the date if you not fake. H.J. got a plate and a hot take. They gon' get you moving right, these goofy types. And keep the lungs goofy tight. Look, let's get it lit like a Lucy, aight? Show the world that we can build when the crew unite. And why these frauds out finessing your protests? I'm in the gulags, playing chess with the hoteps. The hoteps been told you. Don't sweat, bruh, I ain't gonna hold you. Keep receipts for the things that they told you. Ears to the street, they got secrets to go through. The whole tip's been told you. Don't sweat, bruh, I ain't gonna hold you. Keep receipts for the things that they told you. Ears to the street, they got secrets to go through. Whole tip and build, y'all know the deal. We go in for real and ain't got no chill. Teach me how to grip, teach me, teach me how to grip. Teach me how to grip, teach me, teach me how to grip. Whole tip and build, y'all know the deal. We go in for real and ain't got no chill. Teach me how to grip, teach me, teach me how to grip. Teach me how to grip, teach me, teach me how to grip. for the things that they told
We live. What's good, people? It's Thursday. Hoped up Thursday. Back at it again. Sorry, I had a mouthful of some that great Indian man's popcorn. Pause. A mouthful. Greatest podcast in the land where the juice got the juice. I am Uncle Hotep. He's Hotep Jesus. What's good with you, man? Uh, checking on my mean coins. See what my portfolio looking at. I just had to check in and see how much, how much we got so far. You got some mean coins? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> you think so? You don't know? I thought I, I thought uh, I thought did something like that. I ain't trying. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga don't know. <laughs> This is epic levels of crypto degen right here. The nigga got tokens and don't know. <laughs> oh, enough about that. Let's talk about the Griff gods had enough of your shit this week, so they had to take your fucking internet. <laughs> this nigga, nigga Griff so bad. I was like, no, nah, man, let's go. Let's sit his ass down for a couple days, man. Yo, last week they messed my volume up. Okay. This week they said we just gonna take his whole internet. <laughs> I was without internet for four days. Four days? Four days. Wow. My life was turned upside down. How did it feel? Terrible. I couldn't do shit. You know, you you know, you 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 get used to doing things a certain way, right? And you can only do but so much on a cell phone, right? And the the cell phone, even if you uh, hotspot your cell phone, it's not like you could stream from that. Right? Right. <laughs> it's not strong <laughs> enough. But um, I said it was trash, man. They, um, I don't know if it was related to the earthquake or, you know, mercury and retrograde or what, but. That shit was trash. But yesterday I came, I came back. I left. I went to go, go see my parents. I was like, man, fuck it. I ain't got internet. I ain't, ain't no point in being home. So I went to go see my parents, check on them and shit. And I came back home and the shit was back on. So we back full time now, but I highly do not recommend. So you can't get, you can't do no internet. You can't live that, that life. No, I can live that life. Easily. I don't need the internet. I just need the internet to be productive. I would love to be off grid and fucking take this phone and chuck it in the fucking water. I could definitely do that. I have no problem with that. Okay. If anybody has seen me at HotepCon, you don't see me on my phone at HotepCon, right? You see me at events, you don't see me on my phone. I'm not, I'm not that beat for the phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you guys see me at events, you notice I'm not on my phone. Uh, unless like I have to do something, but when it comes to work, I need a computer to work. Like that's what I'm right. used to working on. You know what I'm saying? But I could definitely do it without the internet. The internet is not the problem. I just need the service. So I get some fucking work done. You felt the earthquake? Did I feel the earthquake? Nigga, that shit was about 10 minutes from my house. Oh, that was the epicenter of it? The epicenter was about 10 minutes from my house, dog. That I feel it. Nigga, I thought I was about to die. Seriously? 
Hey, I was sitting here minding my business and all of a sudden the, the world started rumbling. And I was like, oh shit, this is it. Fuck it. I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? I stood 10 tones down on mine. I wasn't scared. So I started listening and shit. I was listening to see if I heard anything breaking, right? But I was listening to the distance. Like I was look, listening for like cracking of infrastructure, right? Or plates falling or something like that. Right. And then I, I didn't hear anything like that. And I was like, all right, this is just a mild earthquake. Because I've, I've been through earthquakes before. We've had earthquakes. I felt earthquakes before. So I knew it was an earthquake. And then I went outside and my Indian neighbors started walking outside. Yeah, they come looking around and shit, looking up in the sky or something like we was in war with Russia or some shit, they dumbasses. And um, I checked on them. I said, everybody all right? They said, yeah, we good, we good. I was like, all right. So they, they said they was good. Nobody was hurt. And then, um, you know, they went back inside, I guess. I went back inside. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, I thought I thought it was time to go. I thought it, I, I was I was like, fuck it, let's get it. I'm ready for the rapture. Yeah, I didn't feel anything. And the last time they had one, um, I was at work. I didn't feel that shit either. I didn't. I was like, I How never you felt. Not? Like See, because Exton, Pennsylvania, not even in this fucking dimension. <laughs> Niggas felt this shit in New York, but they ain't, you ain't felt in Pennsylvania. No. That makes no sense. They felt this Some shit all the way down felt. in Delaware and Baltimore. And... Shit. How you ain't felt? If my didn't tell me there was an earthquake, I wouldn't know. Nobody around you felt the earthquake? Some people did. But you didn't. I'm what about sure. your co-workers? I know you was at work when this shit happened. Nobody at work said nothing? No, I was at the group. You was what? I was at the crib. Oh, you was at the crib. Oh, they let you work from home? <laughs> Master let you work from home? <laughs> you got it good. Oh, come on. Here, here he goes, Chuck. <laughs> he a house Negro. <laughs> <laughs> Master say you ain't got to go outside. You ain't got to leave your house. <laughs> <laughs> Stay home and get these earnings. <laughs> I ain't feel no earthquake. <laughs> Must be nice. Oh man, uh, yeah, we had um, have a week. Glad to be back. Um, 190 in YouTube. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that share button. I don't know why we don't have over 100 likes. Rumble, I see you. <laughs> Layer squared. Pop up hotel. Just me, me, a. Eh? Hit that thumbs up, hit that share button on Rumble. I gotta share this my damn self. Hold on, man. Let me give me give me a second. What the fuck? Let me share it. Um we had a we, we going I guess we got first off today. It's it's been a crazy week. We got a lot to talk about. I see your fresh and fit boys um ain't had such a good week. All right, fuck it. Let's start there. We'll get to the Black Twitter tour when we get there. Let's talk about your bull. Your bull crush. Got him a nice Asian queen. Video come out. I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant. We'll, be, we'll, we'll take care of it. What you mean? I'm having my baby. I don't I don't want to be a dad. I don't want to be a father. I, wanna, I don't want any kids. Then these niggas go on the attack. <laughs> what the fuck is that shit? <laughs> one whole show slandering this one poor woman. She out there working them streets. I mean, <laughs> not nothing, <laughs> like the lady, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> this poor woman had to come up from the struggle. I guess they accuse her of escorting and all this other stuff. They got video evidence. Where's she Meanwhile, from? If you have video evidence of her, her being an escort, you slandering your man right next to him. <laughs> then video come out, him meet, she got gifts for his mom and all this other shit. <laughs> then video come out, he's like, I love you, baby. <laughs> I've seen that video, right? Yeah. Fresh, I don't know if you, I doubt you watch the show. We real niggas over here. You got, it's time to be, you got, listen, you could do worse. 
You might as well lock in. Be a father. Get you a little blazing boy. Get you a little blazing. If it's a boy, send her to Tiger Woods. If it's a girl, <laughs> send her that tennis player. What's that tennis player's name? Um, Mitsurugi. Um. <laughs> But God damn, what did you think of this shit? This is crazy. You know where she from? No, where's she from? Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I only got two things I see wrong with this situation. Number one, Uncle Hotep. What? Are you bringing sex workers to meet your mom? Now, this leads to oh, my let me, second hold, point. Let me, can I answer? Can I answer? Okay. She must got that Hoover 9000. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, I don't know. Man. Like, she had that nigga wide open. But I mean, not normally, no. I would say 99.9% .9 you would say no. Okay. Leads me to my second point. From Myron Gaines. What's his name? Um, Muhammad, whatever his real name is. Muhammad um, Abba. I don't know what his name is. Uh, so Abba decides to go on the offense and defend his friend fresh. But every time he do it, I'm like, yo, you not making it no better. You making it worse. He said, this ain't the first woman to meet his mom's. Fam, how many sex workers has he brought to meet his moms? Don't moms deserve better? So I just want Myron to like really rethink what he doing. Because it's not making things better. It's not, it's not making, he's, he's making it worse. Every time he tries to defend his friend, it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. Just take the L and go. Last point. Are they done as far as giving male advice? In, in a real world? Yeah. I'm like, come on, man. I mean, because he's got the wrong take about it. All they had to do was like, listen, have a sit down show like Gail King and, you know, and, and our, a sit down show, real serious setting. Red table talk. Red table talk. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, man. You did what you did. I mean, in case he hit, like, say, if you don't want to be with her, like, okay, but yo, she said she want to have the baby, man. Hey, you got to go ahead and support it. Right. Be a man. Be a man. Go to, go to them doctor's appointments. You know what I mean? Be right. at the, hold her leg up at the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you ever go to them old, some of the old hospitals, some of them hospitals, like, have you hold the lady's leg up while she's having birth and shit? <laughs> Your more intimate setting or some shit? I don't know. Hold, hold her leg up. Hold her leg up. Leg up. Mm. Go to them doctor. Take the, take the little boy or girl to the doctor's appointments. Right. He ain't, like, I didn't want to have a kid. Like, you was dropping bombs up in it. <laughs> no, no, hot, no condom, no nothing. Splash, splish, splash! Every chance he got, you mean he want a, a baby with her? That's cap. That's cap. <laughs> That's cap. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That 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 was a crazy fucking part of this week. I'm like, this is just fucking. Then what about the fucking uh, conservative ink? I guess there's a new uh, OnlyFans converted trad queen. What's this redhead I keep seeing all over the place? What's her name? Nala Fitness. Now they talk about her. What is it? What is the deal with that? She had OnlyFans, made seven million. Then she got a sit she had a sit down interview with somebody, right? She turned a new leaf. Hoes can't you can't hoes can't quit and trad ink, man. <laughs> You know, I, I don't want to speak on that, you know, 
I'm not a Christian, so I, I can't dictate how Christians are supposed to act or, you know, forgiveness and all this other shit. You know, that's on the Christians and how they want to handle the situation. My issue is they don't respect their viewers. Like Con Inc. disrespects their viewers at every fucking turn. They, they, they disrespect their intelligence by feeding them this fucking small brain content, having the worst guests on. They've turned a grown man named Destiny into a thing on the right. How many times we got to platform this motherfucker? This comes back to the fact that they don't respect their viewers. They treat their viewers as if they're low IQ trash. Now, either that is true. Either conservatives, red whites, white conservatives, white Republicans are low IQ trash. Or. These the con Inc. Is disrespecting them as if they are low IQ white trash. I don't know which one's true. Well, maybe that's the audience they're trying to attract. That's bad. Well, I'm sure the, the high IQ people is like not watching this shit anyway. They tune out. They're like, man, I'm not watching. It's all it's all a scam. So who are the high IQ supposed to watch? They don't watch none. Us. <laughs> Like, yo, I'm here with Curly Bates. Here she go. Oh, this is a real hotel. I was on the wrong board. God damn it. <laughs> Big facts. They got to listen to us. Two niggas. <laughs> Two niggas that eat on their stream. That's what you got to deal with. This is the best you going to get, white folks. They keep platforming this motherfucker. I got invited to an event. And I looked at the fly and it had Destiny's name on it. I said, I'm not going. <laughs> they told me I could be on the stage and I said, I'm not going. Do not put me, do not put my face on the same flyer as him. I don't want to be in the same vicinity as him. That is disrespectful to us. That is disrespectful to the community. You know, this nigga today come on the timeline. He never heard of the country named Prussia. <laughs> low IQ motherfuckers and they keep platforming these people and platforming these people and plat and then running from real niggas like Sonny Johnson you running from the real and running towards the fake I can't respect it I can't respect Con Inc anywhere I haven't seen any media platform from Con Inc. that is respectable. Any. Any. It's terrible. Um, Man, that's a tough one. Name one. Name one Con Inc. platform that's respectable. Um, Name a show. I don't know. Chat, do y'all have any? I don't, I don't know. I'm, Chat, I'm, I'm... where is it at? Tell me one respectable show, one respectable platform. He said that's because Con Inc. is a grift. Oh, this is a real hotel, brother. Exactly. Exactly. It's one big ass grift. Oh my God. I'm the company. Might as well segue to this. I need a, a check. We need a check from Big Boss Pen, man. I'm sorry. This is enough's enough. Enough's a fuck enough. I don't know who the writer is they got over there working there. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I hope you at least gave us some super chats. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Doing a job this, for him and shit. This motherfucker. 
whoever's working for men and them, they they doing their homework every Thursday. They're like, oh man, I gotta. I gotta tap in, man. These niggas come on over and take all they shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this, man? <laughs> they log on with their notepad ready. Notepad, re- voice recorder, <laughs> video recorder. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Chat, if you don't know, I guess now, you know, we have Hotep Court. We've had we've been had Hotep Court for at least what two years, year and a half, two years. Should I play the clip? Yeah, go ahead. Let me send you the clip. We'll play the clip. Cause he he mashed it up. We got a two minute clip here. Hold on, let me send it to you. You see it? Let's put it on the screen so everybody can understand exactly what we're talking about here. All right, I'm ready. All right. All right, three, two, one. Ben Shapiro (laughs) is coming up with his own reward show. Look at this. Welcome to the first annual Media Fibbies, a year-end review including awards for the dumbest, the worst, the cringiest, and the wokest moments from mainstream media in 2020. Now here we have... Hotel Nation. Yo, people try to get that last-minute grip. Ben Shapiro not only jacked our... Not only jacked our idea, he jacked our swag. He's wearing the same tux we are. <laughs> this fool literally went. Welcome to the first and make sure he got the same tux. For some Bro, look. Because of his legal acumen and law degree, and because obviously I'm not in charge of this company in any way, shape, or form. Judge Matt, do I have to call you Judge, or can I just call you Matt? What is it? Your Honor? Your Honor. Your Honor. Your Honor wow. will do it just fine. Okay. All rise for the dishonorable Uncle Hotep. <laughs> <laughs> All rise for the dishonorable Judge Uncle Hotep. All rise for the honorable Judge Uncle Jesus. <laughs> Order in the court. Order in the court. All rise for Uncle Hotep. Order in the court. Order in the court. All rise for the Honorable Judge Hotep Jesus. Order in the court, order in the court. What did you bring my, Judge Ho, Uncle Hotep to court for? Man? What is going on? What is it, man? You gotta take your court, man. <laughs> Hotep Court. Now You see this? the bullshit that's fucking unreal man <laughs> that's fucking unreal <laughs> Jason should have threw the jump shot remember I did the jump shot and then weeks later hit a pop up shooting jump shots <laughs> <laughs> yeah we can't do shit without these niggas jacking our swag bro Well, whoever you are that's watching now <laughs> said, expect some super chats. Better yet, fly us out, have a meeting. Because it, it, you're getting the shit secondhand. You're getting the secondhand because right. you're all, getting lost in the translation. Right. You need us in the war room. Right. I'll put aside all my differences with Jabari and them. As long as that check is nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get a hotel Jesus to the wall. We all good. <laughs> well, what, man, this is just blatant. But what about Candace's take? I seen you spotted it. Candace's Ukraine <laughs> take. You gotta bring that up on the screen. <laughs> where did she get that from? Uh, uh, where did she get that from? That's why I know they're like her, Ben, and all of them. They still cool, man. This is something's funny, man. That was crazy. I'm like, come on. Right here. She says, so who do you guys think they are going to move into Ukraine now that they've eth- ethnically cleansed it while the whole world was watching? 
And then somebody posted this <laughs> map on it. Who had this take? <laughs> Elk said, nice take you got there. Wonder where you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fucking daily liar. Pick up the phone. <laughs> Text us. Email us. Call us. We could we could figure it out. We could tighten you up. You looking crazy out here. And you're not even doing it right. You taking our takes and making them stale. You're not even adding no flavor. You got the gown, you got the judge's gown, but Unc killed you with the wig. You missed. Candace, you know where you got that take from. Stop it. Get some help. Call us. It's crazy out here, yo. I just I just want everybody to know that if you're watching this show, you're an early adopter. You get the takes before everybody else steals them. The hand-me-down takes. When you watch Con Inc., you're getting hand-me-down takes. You're either getting watered-down, hand-me-down takes, or you're getting misinformation, malinformation, or distraction. If you want that real, come fuck with the hoteps. Hotep. Shit is crazy out here. Yeah, I mean, like, come on. Like, these people are, like, brands, you know what I mean? So, like, um... Candace ain't doing the research or, or doing the deep thought to, like, get that take. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Like, all this shit is fucking, uh, per, per, like, carefully manicured and shit like that. She got people feeding her shit. She don't even know how to make that take make sense. <laughs> right? She don't even know the origins of that take. She couldn't make that take make sense. That's why she got to holler at us so she understands how to make that take make sense. But you ask her to explain it, she wouldn't be able to tell you. Like who that's adjacent to the conservative side would even have that take? What's outside of us? Outside of us. <laughs> the Groypers ain't even got the take. Right. They get <laughs> The Grapers ain't even got that take. That is yeah, a one on one, none to come. That, um, yeah, yeah. I don't, I didn't see the group. I mean, I don't know, but they might. Groupers might. Some of the groupers might have that take, but they're not. Maybe. Real, they, maybe. I ain't seen it. I ain't seen. I, I I follow all the anti semites, <laughs> all the notable ones. Uh, Jake Shields. Uh, uh, no more news. Oh, uh, who, who the other one? Oh, oh, well, the bear people. I see all these takes. Ain't none of them had that take. No, they ain't did that research. That was homegrown in Hotepistan. Mm -hmm. I just want you to be able to explain it when the time comes, Candace. That's why I'm saying call me so you can stand 10 toes down on that take. But you can't. You can't even explain that take. You don't even know why they want Ukraine. Yeah, Dario says it's a poll exclusive. That's the first time I've seen it. Then it didn't click like that. But that was like that was in the beginning. Mm. Of the, this has been going on how long, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was in the beginning of this conflict. That's about four Which years ago. That? Don't bring it out now. It's 2024. You know what I mean? <laughs> when the shit's about over. We say that when the shit was in the when when they was like, oh, Russia might lose. Where were when they said Russia might lose? <laughs> we were saying that then. <laughs> now Russia, Putin and them got their foot and they deep in their ass. Pause, no diddy. <laughs> now you want to come out with this taking shit? <laughs> Zelensky been been kidnapping people and taping them to poles and shit. Dragging people to the front lines, pissing the motherfuckers, pissing their pants, shitting their pants. Scared to death. We've been said that. 
Nigga, when I had to take, they kicked me out TPUSA. <laughs> Candace Owens was cussing me out in the text message. Hotep, Jesus, I defended you. How could you? And I hear you go copy of my whole flow. You and Charlie. But you and Charlie kicked me out TPUSA for the same shit y'all doing now? That's insane. That's insane. Word for word, for bar, bar for, for bar. Bar for bar. Oh, the big soldier. It's nasty out here, y'all. It's nasty out. I just want our audience to know, and I got to thank our audience for watching, because you know, Unk know, I know, that you guys are early adopters. You're getting the hot takes months, weeks, sometimes years ahead of Con Inc. You want that whack shit? You want that stepped on cocaina? You go fuck with Con Inc. But if you want that Medellin, that raw fresh from Colombia, not stepped on, you want that pure white snow white, you come fuck with the hoteps. Oh, this a real hotep, brother. It's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, Niggas won't even pick up the phone. Won't even pick up the phone. And they wonder why people don't like the tunnel diggers now. <laughs> Just give niggas a bad name, man. Oh my god. All right, um. All right, starting the Black Twitter report. Thank you, Nerd Nash. Go visit nerdnash.com. Um, big news in Black Twitter today. First and foremost, rest in peace. Renthal James Simpson, OJ, died, passed away, 76 years old. This was surprising to me. I seen him on Cam show, Cam had, had, had him on, Mace, and like he was usually active on Twitter. I had followed him, but I haven't seen him like, usually he played golf and shit. Looked like he was active. But I haven't seen him play golf or anything in a, in a couple months, right? Juice passed away. Oh my God. I was telling Paul today. Paul hit, hit me up. Uh, she texted me like, yo. Juice died. I was like, I just heard it. Paul talked about it. I was like, oh, this is this is everybody. This this, you know, I mean, this is the normies. It's like, oh, juice died. Yeah, you know when your lady hit you with the text message, it's out there. <laughs> Listen, I was, we, I, we had to go to a, a, a teacher conference, right? Mm-hmm. I told her, like, yo, you know what men thought back then when this happened? I was like, it's different than when it was now. All the men, like, well, I was in my 20s, but all the men that are older than me, like my dad's age, they all who said, like, now I heard this from multiple old heads when I was, when it happened. Man, I don't condone what he did, but I understand. That's, that was <laughs> the fucking, that was the consensus back then. I swear to God. I don't give a fuck, y'all. If y'all don't believe me, whatever. You go go see Michael J. Fox and go back to the fucking future, because that's what motherfuckers was saying. Swear for God, that's what they were saying. All the men, not mind you. That's what they were saying. Mm -hmm. But now, like everybody was like resting pissed, like ah, la, la. I'm like. I thought I thought they I, liked them. Remember we did an episode on OJ and you told me that the white folks loved OJ? That's how we got on. What happened? The nigga died and all of, all of a sudden the KKK appeared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that's why I seen it. Like that's what I like. Some of these jokers, they 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 can't like they'll never they'll never shy away. They'll never miss jail up. Hold on. Oh HJ made it a hot oh, line. Oh. Candace made it a hot song. <laughs> Y'all ain't shit in the chat. Y'all ain't shit. What up though? 
All my BMF watches. What up, though? Um, they'll never miss an opportunity to play the race card. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you see Mark Lamont Hill's take? Your boy, your Pennsylvania, uh, Pennsylvania compadre, Mark Lamont Hill. Did you see his take? Yeah, I saw that shit. <laughs> He, 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 Mark Lamont Hill can't wait when a black person dies that he ain't, he, he don't like particularly to take, he'll, he can't wait to kick their back in. <laughs> oh man, he wait till a nigga die to kick your back in. It's a different type of coon. He made a video and everything. I'm he made like, a video? <laughs> no, he I didn't. Watched, he made a YouTube video. I seen him put, put, post a link. He said, OJ Simpson was an abusive liar who abandoned his community long before he killed two people in cold blood. His acquittal for murder was the correct and necessary result of a racist criminal legal system, but he's still a monster, not a martyr. Now, I don't even get this take. You're going to have to explain this university babble to me. This, <laughs> these at blacks, uh, boule Negroes. I don't understand what this university talk is. In the same fucking paragraph... He says the nigga's guilty, but he got off because he's black? Or, or, or he should have got off because the, the justice system is racist? What the fuck is he talking about? Well, one of the reasons OJ got off is because how... If you th think the cops in 2024 is bad, I mean, the cops in the 90s out L.A., they was weighing niggas the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we know Roddy Setting King. Yeah. Plant evidence. Mm -hmm. So what happened was that came back to bite the LAPD. Oh, I see. Their reputation saying. came back to bite them because that played a part in the reasonable doubt. And and, and Cochran played that, played that angle. Okay. That, hey, mm. they'll set anybody up. They've been setting niggas up. Right. The jury bought it. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, it's that's why I think he means, he's, but that didn't it didn't change anything as far as like policing and everything. So I don't. It wasn't necessary, Mark, because it didn't change anything. Wait, um, wait, wait a second. Who did who did uh, OJ allegedly murder? According to Mark Lamont Hill, was it white folks or black folks? Two uh, white man, white woman. So he killed a black man. Killed two white people. Uh huh. Mark Lamont Hill screams up and down about white supremacy. Shouldn't he like OJ? If he killed two white people and white people are such a big problem. This is like AOC and, and Don Lemon. They talk about white supremacy and they go home and suck white dick. It makes no sense. I don't get it. Do you think LJ, like, I've seen a lot in the chat. All right, let's get your official take. Did LJ do it? Did OJ do it? Well, how old were you back then? I was, uh, I was in high school. I was in high school. I remember clear as day running through the hallway screaming, the juice is loose when that verdict <laughs> came down. <laughs> I was running through the hallway. I want to say I was probably freshman year. I think this was freshman year of high school. I was running through the hallway screaming, the juice is loose, the juice is loose. And and all the black kids in the in the school celebrated. We was all celebrating. I left class to ask to go to the bathroom just so I could run through the hallways to scream the juice is loose. That's the kind of kid I was. Um, did he kill the white folks? No. Somebody else killed them white folks. Man, that nigga did it. That nigga did it. I'm sorry, man. Everybody, like, listen. My dad told me, he's like, yo, that nigga did it. He was another one that said, that nigga did it, but I understand. <laughs> understand what? Because the reason he killed him, because I guess they were going to divorce that they were separated. Yeah. You know, he, the juice got a lot of money driving Lam Lambos and shit like that. He go around, she starts seeing some one redacted, young redacted dude. Right? Mm. Then all of a sudden, the young redacted dude is, is driving uh, 
Um, Juice is Lambo. <laughs> driving Lambo around. <laughs> she had him driving his car? Yeah. Damn, that's a different level of disrespect. Not the Lambo. I mean, the only thing is, the only thing that, like, but, you know, Juice is a, a you know, professional athlete, even though he was old back then, 50s. How do you, uh, man, because this guy was young, and I think he was in his 20, 30s or something like that. Maybe just because he had a knife. I don't know how he beat the beat the bull up. Bull was young. It was supposed to be a fight or something like that. I don't know. It seemed like he did it to me. Um, I don't know about the. I don't know. Chat said his son, have, his son did it. A lot of people are saying his son did it. I think that's Cap. Well, his son's going to kill his mom. He half white, ain't he? <laughs> white kids is crazy I ain't gonna hold you man <laughs> no way you don't no. think so no it's like like the thing like back at, when it happened man like there was like a group of people that was like no he didn't do it he didn't do it but like most niggas that had a brain was like man that nigga did it what the jury say Jory said, no, the cops fix it. All right, then. He ain't do it. He he innocent. It was the LAPD. Yeah. And the DA and him. And Darden. Darden's the dumbest nigga I know. Patriot J, man. <laughs> Patriot, I think somebody said Patriot J in the chat. Shout out Patriot J. Oh, this a real hotel brother. Like, that fucking... He had him try to fucking glove on. Mm -hmm. Like a dummy. That white woman told him, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Did you see the Reddit? I mean, the Netflix joint? Nah. That shit was fucking crazy. Man. Word. You never watched it? Uh. With uh, Cuba Gooden Jr. as OJ? Uh. I swear you, that shit is so fucking far. <laughs> <laughs> Cuba Gooden Jr. played OJ? Yes. Oh, shit. You've never seen it? <laughs> no. I, to I swear to you. It's on you Netflix? Gotta... Yeah, I think it's on Netflix. It was on Netflix. All right, I'm going to check it out. Then when Cochran and, and, and Darden arguing about the saying nigga in court, Darden was like, no, you can't say that word in court. <laughs> Yo, they played it like, you know, listen, on the Netflix show, man, they played it so perfect, man. And then uh, Cochran was like, he he mouthed to Darden. He's like, after he was done his whole spill, why should he be able to say nigga in, in the court? He looked at him and said, Nigga, please. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best. It was one of the best shows I ever seen. While I fell, we got. <laughs> so they had they had Darden saying the the n word. Darden didn't want to say say the word in court, but he said it outside of court. No, Cochran, Cochran wanted to say it in court. Oh, they had a whole fucking thing on it. Oh. And Cochran looked dark, dark and dead in his eye. Mm. Nigga, please. Now, this is on the Netflix. They, 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 like, I don't know if they, I don't know. It was they a said legend. FX. They Malcolm said a FX, not Netflix. It's an FX. Oh, my bad. But yeah. Then, um, what was I going to say? What? You talking about the N word? The N word. Kubo. Dar then Darden has then put Mark Furman on. That was the Mark cop. Mark Furman been beating niggas his ass in, in LA all his life. Yeah. Calling niggas, calling people niggas and all everything. <laughs> Darden then wanna put him on a stand. That was fucking that was it. That was mm. the case right there. Damn. Was Johnny Cochran not a, a genius? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah you know, they Johnny, said, huh? Well, they said that, that Cochran was working on reparations. That's what they had to do. That's why they got him out of here. He's he about to get, facts, he's about to get us a million dollars a piece. Gucci, Gucci would have ran out of product. Shout out to Johnny Cochran. Johnny Cochran walked. <laughs> 
So Patriot J can run. Shout out to Patriot J. The next Johnny Cochran. They called him Mark Fuhrer. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. I was just surprised to look at my timeline and see so much OJ hate. I was like, wait a second. Hold on now. I didn't know. Huh? I don't know. But see, as the time went on, you know how people have become more, um, a lot more virtue signaling, a lot more um, liberal. I'm holier than now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So when he died, this is their chance. You know, these, these people that think that they're all so special and shit, it was their chance to shit on them and shit. Mm. Trash. Absolute trash. The glove don't fit. You must have quit. That's facts. That's facts. But I thought, uh, you know, I, I'm surprised. But, and I posted the, the post, right? I was, I was on poll. Yeah, they, you know, they had about juice. And I seen the picture. When they got that Fauci. Now, this is two years ago. Two years later, he got cancer. I ain't saying no. I'm not saying no. I'm going to say the shit. <laughs> juice took the juice out. The juice took the juice out. Told you motherfuckers not to take that damn juice. Y'all wanted to listen to Microsoft. Y'all wanted to listen to Baby Powder. Y'all wanted to listen to Mr. Mazza. Y'all wanted to listen to Mr. Johnson. Y'all wanted to listen to Mr. Modern. Y'all wanted to listen to D DJ Who Kid. That's who y'all want to listen to. You ain't want to listen to the hotels. If, 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 if OJ was tuning in the hotels, been told you, he wouldn't have took the juice. The juice wouldn't have took the juice. But that's what happens. Listen to these university niggas. You know, the worst thing that ever happened to black people is a university. The worst thing that ever happened to black people is the fucking university. Come on, man. Don't say that. I promise you that was the worst thing that ever happened to us. A nigga is better off without a college degree than with. Hotep, you're a genius. Hotepjesus.com. A black man or woman is better off without a college degree than with. I promise you. The worst thing that ever happened to us was going and going to get white liberal education from a university. It's the worst thing you could ever do to a black mind. Because niggas know a whole lot about nothing. Now these niggas running around with Durango brunch boots and bad opinions. Boulay blacks. Niggas that intellectualize why you should take the jab. Niggas that intellectualize why you shouldn't vote for Trump. Niggas that intellectualize why you should vote for Biden. Niggas that intellectualize why communism's good and needs to be thought about. These university blacks. University blacks kill OJ. Hotep, you're a genius. Hotepjesus.com. Listen to these smart niggas. Niggas is better off in a gang than at a university. Hotep, you're a genius. Hotepjesus.com. You are better off in the Bloods, the Crips, the Vice Lords. Shit, you better off working for El Chapo than you are instead of going to fucking Temple University or one of these dumbass places. To be honest, like, the white folks that was mad at OJ... I don't know. It seemed like they the Dems. It was the right wing too. Well, they they the 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 new these these right is not, you know, they fake right. They're fucking conservative ink is not the right. The I mean, new right. They fucking Jim Crow Joe uh Jim Jim Crow right. Segregation new right. 
They couldn't wait to see a black man die. I don't know. It's just... It's fucking crazy. Who has made... Has there been an African-American that's going to being loved by white folks to being hated within in their lifetime? Tiger Woods. Remember Tiger Woods was hated for like five months because he cheated on that white bitch? Nigga went and got some other pussy and everybody. He's a bad guy. Lost his endorsement deals and shit. Then Nike told him to cool off and then they gave him his deal back a, a year later. It's Tiger Woods. If you a black man, the last the last thing you want to do is be a famous black man and date a white woman. That's going to be the end of your career. It's a wrap. You ain't never seen a black man be famous and date a white woman and anything good come of it. Hold up. No. Name one. Name one. Clarence Thomas. Clarence Thomas. Clarence Thomas. Clarence Thomas. Clarence Thomas don't count. I said famous. <laughs> this nigga is a fucking Supreme Court justice. Nobody knows who the fuck he is. I'm talking about celebrity, um, athlete. Ain't nothing ever come from the good the coming from that. Who? The dude who played Carlton. The dude who played Carlton? Yeah. You ain't seen him get a role since. <laughs> Carlton ain't been in a movie or a TV show since he laid down with that white woman. Jonathan Majors laid down with a white man. Nigga almost went to jail. This country do not want to see a black man with a white woman. And as soon as you lay down with a white woman, it's a wrap. John Legend. She's not white. She's Vietnamese. I'm pretty sure she's from Vietnam or Cambodia or someplace. <laughs> Name another one. Jordan. Jordan ain't married none of them girls. He was just smashing. He's smart. He, he getting married now. Who he getting married? He married some Hispanic woman. He got oh, kind of kid. He just had a, like a daughter a couple years ago. Is she, she Hispanic? Yeah. That don't count. That's spicy white. Spicy oh, whites don't count. Yeah. You get you Tim a spicy Scott. white. Who? Tim Scott. <laughs> Tim Scott can't even get the VP spot. That'll tell you everything you need to know about him. Is Tim Scott straight? That's still up for question. Who else you got? You ain't never seen a black man date a white woman and prosper in this country. Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes not black. He diet Negro. Michael Jackson. Oh. Look what they did to Michael. Got himself. He went to. He went and got Elvis Presley daughter. You know that was a sin in the white man's eyes. They got rid of him quick, fast, and in a hurry. Name another one. Seal. Seal ain't had a a hit since he laid down with a white woman. Name another. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> <laughs> Did he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I think that's why they don't like OJ. If OJ dated black women, nobody would have had a problem. No. They loved OJ until he got he caught that case. Yeah, he put his hands on that white woman. That was a wreck. He was, he was, if he killed yeah, the black but... woman, nobody would have cared. If his wife's name was Wanda. Nobody would have cared. If his wife's name was LaShonda, nobody would have cared. It wouldn't even have made the news. He killed the white woman. That shit was everywhere. I don't know about that, man. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Granted, the hate wouldn't be as strong because why would they care? Let's be honest. Oh. Um, I don't know. It's it's uh, I don't know. Rest in peace, juice. You know what I mean? We'll see. We'll see what happens in that next couple of days. Um, Hall of Fame running back, one of the best running backs to ever played a game. Um, and you know, 
He had sort of rebirth on Twitter. His takes was always like honest, and he was like he would like if you go back and look at all his videos on Twitter, he was like he had honest like decent takes. He wasn't like a clown or anything like that. Like he he was kind of thoughtful, you know what I mean? He just he was a kind of uh, honest, down to earth uh, person in, in his in his takes, and he was still out there running the streets. Remember that video he said uh he was on with Cam he talking yeah, about uh, Yeah. <laughs> he was getting <laughs> uh -huh. talking about the girls that got grandfather problems. I was like, Jesus. Jesus <laughs> <laughs> was still knocking him down seventy years old. Yeah, of course he was. <laughs> they got paper. The women ain't stupid. <laughs> they going where their dollars is. Bobby Perkins says, Charles Barkley, iced tea. They love iced tea. There you go. You, you can't beat that. You can't beat iced tea. Iced tea plays a cop on TV. So what? That is the complete opposite of what black people are supposed to love. It's supposed to be fuck the police. That nigga has been playing a cop ever no. since he dated that white woman. No. Name another one. And iced tea Mark has me. mixed his damn self. Oh, come on, man. There you go with this shit, man. Ice T is not a hundred percent black. He's a diet Negro. He's as black as you are, man. He's not as black as I am. Have you seen Ice T's hair? Look at your hair. What the fuck? What are you talking about? This is I got nigga you. hair. <laughs> he don't got nigga hair. That nigga's mixed. His mama or what his daddy's nigga, white. What is nigga hair? What is nigga hair? You know what nigga, nigga hair is. It's on no, top no, no, of your no, head. No. Let that shit grow out. I'll show your ass. There you go hair. with that coon. There you go with that coon talk. That's How is that I coon tell talk? Chad, this is why he won coon of the year. How is that coon talk? Any hair you have, any pair of hair on top of a black person's hair is their hair. It's nigga hair. Hey, there you go. Now all of a sudden you don't know what a black man is. I see. I see qualifies as a black man. Come on, stop it. Come on, man. He qualifies it's, as a black your, man, but he doesn't have a white woman. She's white. No, she's not. Come on. Coco's not white. She's culturally hip hop. You see, when you get a white woman with a fat ass, white men go, okay, you can have that. She was shaking her ass in the music videos. They say you can have that because they ain't want nothing to do with her. Get you a white woman with a medium ass or a small ass. Now it's going to be some problems. You keep putting qualifications on it. I'm telling you how it's nuanced to this shit. <laughs> it's nuanced to this shit. Not every white woman counts. White men don't want all of they white women. Just like niggas don't want all of these black chicks. Some of these motherfuckers could go. But let's talk about Bruce Bruce. Bruce Bruce had a lot to say. About who? About OJ. What did he say? Talking about he happy he died. You remember what happened with Bruce Jenner? Oh, Bruce Bruce. I thought you meant the comedian. Bruce. I'm talking about Bruce Jenner. I seen that. We all know what happened with Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner killed somebody and changed his identity to cover it up. Oh, oh did he, he ran somebody over? Killed. He murdered somebody. Had the nerve to talk about OJ on his deathbed. Bruce Bruce murdered somebody with his vehicle and to get off, changed his identity and became woman of the year. I remember that shit clear as day. Killed somebody and changed his gender. Went went to the doctor, got threw some titties on it, and said not guilty. That's what happened. So Bruce Bruce need to be quiet talking all that shit. We know what happened to you, motherfucker. You know who else died? Who? Oh, Mister C. You know, it was crazy because my lady was like, she was like, yo, Mr. C died. I was like, yo, Mr. C been died. I could have sworn Mr. C died like 10 years ago. Oh, come on, man. I swear to God, I thought he was already dead. 
I was like, yo, he's, he died. So I looked it up. You know, I went to the Fed website, TMZ.com, to see if it's real. And sure enough, I was like, oh, shit, Mr. C died. Why did I think he, he died already? Was there another Hot 97 DJ that died before? Mm-hmm. What did he die of? I don't know. I seen this one take on here. Oh, now y'all want to give Mr. C his flowers. Y'all, but he was blackballed from the industry after he came out because he liked trans uh, gender women, blah, blah, blah. That nigga never got blackballed. Why did he get blackballed? He never did. This, this person wanted to just play victim all the time. Like he was still on the airways and everything. People were saying he had a uh, internet show and he was still like a satellite radio show and he was on the internet, on the radio. Show. Oh, K Slay died. That's who it was. It was K Slay. I knew, I knew it was another DJ. It was K Slay that died. Thank you, Wasted Talent. K Slay died. Um, Mr. C. Mr. C never got canceled. No, okay. He never, did. he never got canceled. We never cared. It he popped made up. jokes for like a day or two, and that was it. And that was it. <laughs> Mr. C popped up. He said he liked to get hair from transsexuals. We was like, use one freaky motherfucker. Now play the fucking set, DJ. <laughs> play my shit, Mr. C. Nobody cared that Mr. C was getting his his his, his rocks off. With, with trans people, that, that's his business. We was ups- I was upset that you arrested the nigga. Why are you telling me about what Mr. C does with his nuts? I don't care. That nigga could spin them records. Let him spin them records. They cap him with that shit. Mr. C, I don't remember Mr. C ever getting canceled. I remember Ebro bringing him on and doing some interview. I'm like, Ebro, what the fuck are you doing? You brought him to come on and apologize. He don't got to apologize for getting his dick sucked. That's weird. I think didn't Hot 97 suspend him for like a half a second or, or, or something. That shit was stupid. If I was his boss, I'd be like, yo, you got arrested. All right, whatever. You coming to work tomorrow? All right, we need you to spin, you know, the tunes at noon and kept it fucking moving. Like, what are we doing here? This is yeah, hip hop. He, he got even more fucking plugs afterwards, I think. I just want to know what he died of. Because they, that's like, they ain't going to cause him death. I'm you like, know oh. you know what he died of. You know what that nigga died of. We all know what he died of. Same thing everybody else dropping like flies from. Oh, yeah. Oh. You probably had to take that joint too to do shows and shit. What? The Fauci. Of course. You know, you know, Ebro wasn't letting niggas come up there without the without the uh the DNC pass from your doctor. <laughs> you know they wasn't allowing that shit. And mandates. Did you see how many oh. times they ran that commercial at Hot 97? Yeah. They ran them juice commercials on Hot 97 around the clock. Mr. C ain't here stand a chance, yo. Hold my nuts and Malik Yoba never bounced back from his saucy ex- escapades. See? Because he was talking crazy. He was... <laughs> He's wild. Like he didn't know if he was coming or going. He had a heavy fetish. <laughs> Baby, it was so heavy. They had him like even the tease was like, yo, yo, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, yo, chill. You got it wrong. Chill. Chill out. Um but rest in peace, Mr. C. Rest in peace, OJ. Yeah, rest in peace, Mr. C, man. Rest in peace. I met Mr. C once. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and it cussed me out. <laughs> I was at the club, and this was back in my photography days. And um, 
you know, I'm taking snapping pictures. And I'm like, oh shit, Mr. C. So I tap Mr. C on the shoulder, like, hey, Mr. C, let me get a picture. I think it turned to me and said, take the motherfucking picture. <laughs> I was like, all right, he ain't gonna pose for this shit or nothing. <laughs> And nigga, he was about his business, but I respected it because I'm like the nigga just want to spin his records, and I'm disturbing right. him. You know what I'm saying? Like he don't go fuck about no picture. Let me rock this party. This was in Elizabeth, New Jersey, and I respected it. All right, uh, moving on. Really like fades. <laughs> Darius, <I'm> like, <laughs> yo, man, I. Uh, That's not far from the truth, though, huh? Yeah. That shit came from. That shit came from Wuhan too. Uh, I remember they was talking about that on poll. Like this was years ago. It was like they called Vades and shit. I was like, huh? I ain't paying no mind. Now niggas start dropping like flies and shit. They said, wait a couple years. (laughs) <laughs> Niggas gonna start dropping like fly. See? <laughs> See? Every 20 years, they come out with a new bug for your ass. All right. Next up. Trump is giving out chicken. He went, <laughs> first he went to Chick-fil-A. Uh, like, I heard Chick-fil-A is not going to get anti non-antibiotic chicken anymore. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they need the bigger breast, make bigger <laughs> chicken meats, and all that. You put on play. Oh, we gotta play. We gotta bring the video. I didn't watch the video, man. They said Trump is getting black it? people chicken and shit. <laughs> is that true? You seen the video? I seen the video. Just giving niggas chicken. <laughs> what else you supposed to give niggas? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, you know what the fuck we want, man. Let me find the video. Here it go. You see it? Yeah, yeah. Let me know when you're ready. All right. Hold on. Let me pull it up. I'm ready when you are. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> Clark Atlanta, Spellman, Morehouse, at Chick fil A with Trump. You know, them brunch Negroes was hot when they saw this video. Them at blacks, them university blacks, them Greek letter blacks was hot when they seen this shit. I seen them in the I seen them in the comments. I seen a couple uh go off on Twitter, but they ain't get no traction. They ain't get no traction. <laughs> they, they ain't get no impressions. Nope. <laughs> nope. Cause real niggas is back on Twitter. That ship is sailed. That ship is sailed. They don't understand. They they didn't get the call. They was not important enough to get the fucking phone call. Yeah. If they was important enough to get the phone call, they would have switched the fuck up. They wasn't important enough to get the phone call. They think they still on the old fucking old version. Listen, your Bioware has been... Listen, Shine. Listen. You need to upgrade your firmware. Update your BIOS. Get you a new service patch. That old buying shit ain't, ain't, ain't flying no more. Mm. Either say nothing or jump on the Trump train. This is what you. This is your options. Niggas are gonna. Now who who is we? Who is we? Even some of the white folks I seen uh, uh, jump on there and say, "Oh, we hate Trump." They're not even getting as much traction as they used to. People's fed up. Yep. You heard what she said. Tell them how we're hurting. Mm. 
Tell him how we hurt. We ain't got no housing. Game fucked up. Yeah. Behind tapped everybody's pockets. Top tapped everybody's pockets. Listen, I've been, I've been listening to uh, a new a book about uh, your boy uh, J. Edgar Hoover mm -hmm. and about uh, this one. Wood Woodrow Wilson was in the, was in the White House. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Them Democrats is always a motherfucker. Man. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, listen. <laughs> he, he was, everything they accused Trump of doing, Woodrow Wilson did that shit in spades, man. <laughs> Niggas ain't shit, man. You said everything is spades. What? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, oh, that's creation. what they were saying? That's what it's called, niggas spades? No, no. I'm oh. not this. I'm a figure of speech. Come on, oh, Sean. Oh, oh. No, I thought you were saying they was literally saying that. No, no. He, 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 they, 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 I wouldn't put it past him. Him and who reward them niggas the fuck out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They brought that shit back. Um, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. You know what I mean? But if it's reaching the, the Negro colleges, see, the, the Negroes that graduated already, they still on that old shit. But the niggas that they're in school now, if they got to them Negroes, it's over. Mm. I seen you come in my, I was talking to my uncle uh, this, this past week. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> He irritates me, man. That nigga's no. bullet as hell. You know he got a degree on his wall. I asked him about it. He, he, he he's still a Biden believer. Oh my god! <laughs> How? He was talking about all the economics and the numbers and nigga, what numbers? You seen the price of eggs, nigga? <laughs> what numbers is you looking at? Shout him on. I might have a, a, a new daily uh, boule corner. <laughs> <laughs> My call will go every, every, every Sunday. Um, I thought you was a coon. Oh, fuck. That nigga take the cake. <laughs> Damn. You come from a long lineage of coons. <laughs> I think the last real nigga was your dad. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck these niggas come from, man. <laughs> I got to talk to your moms. I know she's tired of y'all niggas. My dad had worse takes, man. How? There's no way he's had worse takes than your uncle. Your uncle takes the cake. That nigga's rocking with Biden. How? No, you see, that's why the, the coon is, is doesn't, I don't know, it, it lost its meaning and shit like that, but by the day standards, they would talk my dad coon, because he'd be like, lock these niggas the fuck up. Call the hoes. Give me the German <laughs> shepherds and shit. Lock them up. They need to be locked up. You would say shit like that. Y'all would call, they would call him a coon. That's better than fucking vote for Joe Biden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take that any day. I'll take that take any day. At least that got some merit. <laughs> Shit, that, that sound more like Dr. Umar than anything. Yo, uh -oh. I don't know, man. Biden? <laughs> <laughs> Democrat blacks? He went to university. I know he went to university. I can yeah, tell by the way he talked. I know it don't matter. He went to a, a PWI. No, I don't think he did. I think he went. I think he went to school down south. He went to a PWI down south. No. If he went to a black I institution, I, I, I remember the school, but it wasn't. I don't. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a PWI. If, sure he, if he went to a black college, it's even worse. <laughs> At least at the PWI, you run into a couple of Republicans and balance your shit out. You go to the black college, you getting all fucking stepped on communist propaganda. 
Listen, he ain't never going to come back. I want you to bring this Scott Greer tweet up before we get to the last Black Twitter report story. Who the hell is Scott Greer? I put in your DM. Remember, there was two years, a couple years ago, last year, um, there was a school shooting, and then the parents went went, went on the run and shit, got caught hiding in some house or some shit. Um, play, you play the video. Play the video. Play the video. You got a video? Yeah, hold on. Let me know when you're ready. So this is like one of the first cases where they sentenced the the parents for the crime of what their kid did in as far as these school shootings. But yeah, I'm ready with it. All right, three, two, one. Each of the defendant's gross negligence has caused unimaginable suffering to hundreds of others as a result of what happened that day. Each act or inaction created a ripple effect. Therefore, an out of guidelines sentence is appropriate and proportional. The court uses the useful, useful tool of the legislative guidelines, which embody the, the principles of proportionality, while also taking into account the nature of the offense and the background of each defendant. I believe that the following sentences would be in the best interest of justice and are reasonable and proportionate to the seriousness of the matter and the circumstances surrounding each defendant. With regard to Jennifer Crumley, It is the sentence of this court, Ms. Crumley, that you serve 10 to 15 years with the Michigan Department of Corrections. You will have credit for 858 days. State costs are $272. There's a crime victim's rights fee of $130. Um, you and your agents may not have any contact with fam the families of Madison Baldwin, Tate Meir, Hannah St. Juliana, and Justin Schilling. Um, I will issue another ruling with regard to contact um, with your son, the shooter. <coughs> Excuse me. As, defend, as to defendant James Crumley, it is the sentence of this court that you serve 10 to 15 years with the Michigan Department of Corrections, that you receive credit for 858 days, that you pay state costs in the matter of uh, $272, that there is a crime victim's rights fee of $130, that you or your agents have no contact with the families of Madison Baldwin, Tate Muir, Hannah St. Saint Juliana, and uh, Justin Schilling. Okay. All right. What seems to be the problem? Now read Scott Greer's tweet above it. Scott Greer, got to remember that a ton of urban crime, especially in D.C., is being committed by minors, yet they will never charge the parents there. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> if Ethan Crumley had gone to school in Detroit and he were a different color, no one would have ever thought about never thought to charge the parents. Jesus fucking Christ. You see this shit? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Let me get my duffel real quick. <laughs> Let me get my duffel real quick. For the Scott, the people like Scott and you daily wire motherfuckers is watching right now. Let me get my duffel. <laughs> I'm going to get in the duffel. Let me bring out the tape and shit. <laughs> you wonder why, Scott, they're not going to charge them people in Detroit, Chicago, Philadelphia. You think they want to fucking fix those fucking areas? You do you really think they want to fix them, or do you want them? Do you think they want them motherfuckers shooting each other and killing each other? You answered your own fucking question, dickhead. <laughs> it's not because oh, all these special black parents we can't charge them. No, now we don't. We ain't gonna charge them. Let we want them to keep killing each other. You dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> you. How fucking stupid are you? Y'all so quick to play the victim, you can't even think. Be my guest. Charge the niggas. Charge them. Charge them up. 
And then you look the details of this case. This 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 kid been a fucking problem. They go to fucking. They go to school. They were the guidance counselors. Guidance counselors show them uh, 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 drawings the kid made of shootings and shit, and a fucking uh, picture of a gun with blood and shit. They just bought the kid the gun a week ago. Who bought the gun? The parents did. They bought the gun, gave it to the kid, knowing the kid was a fucking simple ass off his rock rocker, need meds. And then when they go to the guns class, they don't say nothing about. They look at the picture, look like it, it's look disturbing art. They don't say nothing. Kids talk about hear voices and shit. Probably from the fucking redacted, I mean, the redacted <laughs> fucking programming they got them on and shit. <laughs> they hit him with the ultra ultra light beam. <laughs> yeah, the MK fucking ultra joint. But that be that as it may. But y'all, Scott and them want to play victims and shit. Like, are you serious right now? <laughs> like, how bad do people want to play victims, man? It's, I don't know who's worse, man. They're actually functionally worse than Tariq Nasheed and them. They are. They are. They are. And this has happened fast. 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 When we said niggas was going to the back of the bus after Joe Biden got elected, we had no idea that meant everybody was throwing our black asses to the back of the bus. Like, how do you think they gentrify these cities, Scott? First, you got to let this crime go up. Then, Jabari and them go buy the shit for cheap. <laughs> then, guess what? <laughs> then the flip come. <laughs> Sell it to your crack ass. <laughs> Sell it to y'all. Then they up. <laughs> like, come on, man. Be my guest. Lock these niggas. If niggas is, is that ne negligent around their kids, then go ahead, lock them up. Yeah. But what these two these two parents did, they damn near facilitated it. Right. You bought them the gun. You know, black parents ain't buying them niggas no guns. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> like, are you serious right now? Facts. Facts. Nobody. Unless they go out hunting, unless you down south, you're a hunting black family. You <clears throat> niggas, parents in the city is not buying their kids no gun. That's facts. That's facts. But I don't know. I, I just I might, have, might have a weekly white victimhood report, man. They turned into the left so fast. <laughs> All right, back to the black tour. I just wanted to share that because that was that was something I saw this week that was ridiculous. Who is this guy? Scott M. Greer. Yeah, I think he's on. Oh, uh, he worked for one of them daily places, Daily Caller. Yeah. Anytime they work for somebody that starts with the word daily, you know it's fucked up. IQ and bio, height and bio, IQ and bio is. <laughs> Um. All right, hit that thumbs up, hit that share button. We get to talk about rap this week. <laughs> the nigga's favorite subject. <laughs> yes. Oh, I can't wait, man. Listen, you better have a good take on this too, y'all. Listen, well, well, let me show my mental water shirt. <laughs> <laughs> J. Cole did the unthinkable this week. <laughs> First, he came out and dissed him, right? This because you know Kendrick a response diss. A response diss to Kendrick because Kendrick was on Future's album and dissed him and Drake. Mm -hmm. People was wondering what they was going to do. Now I thought to myself, J. Cole might respond. I had thought in my head, I was like, J. Cole might say something. Mm -hmm. J. Cole didn't let me down. Came out, 
like a light shot. Light shot. I thought the song was decent. About as light and as I his skin. On it. Huh? About as light as his skin. Oh, here you go, man. <laughs> Your color is fucking takes, man. Your color is takes. <laughs> If he was alive when, when Malcolm X was alive, you would have called him a coon. <laughs> Facts. Just, just off the the color, the basis of his color is. <laughs> Never, don't forget, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. But the darker the berry, the, be, the bigger the coon. <laughs> <laughs> don't you forget it. Malcolm, forget X was it. Not, Malcolm X was nothing but strong dads. So I don't know about that. But I'm saying, you judge people, you judge black people solely by the color of their skin, by no, their I, skin tone. No, I judge them by their actions, and his actions was very light skin. You can be dark skin and have light skin actions. His actions have, were very light skin. Anyway, back to the diss. He dissed them. It was kind of light. He said the pimp of butter, butterfly was was ass was mid. Do you agree with that statement? No, I do. That what? Shit, that shit was mid. It was what? Mid. You ain't got no culture. Here you go with the fucking culture shit. You ain't got no culture if you think that album was mid. What's wrong with you? It was. To Pimp a Butterfly? Yeah. Bro, To Pimp a Butterfly was a masterpiece. Oh, fuck with me. It was an artistic masterpiece. It was a... a a corporate masterpiece. Let's talk about let's talk about what went behind the making of To Pimp a Butterfly. Because in order to appreciate To Pimp a Butterfly, you cannot judge it like a rap album. That's first things first. Okay? He had George Clinton on there. Knife Wonder. Um, hold on, let's go to To Pimp a Butterfly. Um, I mean, the writers, just, just, just the amount of writers he employed, James Fauntleroy, Snoop, he pulled Bilal out. When's the last time you heard Bilal? He got Bilal on two tracks out of here. King Kunta was the shit. Let's act like it wasn't. Let's stop acting like it wasn't. Ahmad Lewis, Stefan Gordy, Pharrell. It was a classic just based upon Ron Isley. Ron Isley, Boy Wonder. It was a classic based upon features alone. How you going to tell me a track with the Isley brothers is not classic? And he's got several on here with the Isley brothers. To, you know, if you did not like To Pimp a Butterfly, you not black. If you ain't like To, to Pimp a Butterfly, you ain't black. Hotep, you're a genius. Hotepjesus.com. Listen, no. It's not better than Section 80. It's not better. Than it's not in the same genre. See, you keep trying to put it in the same genre as Section 80. It's not that type of album. This is music. This ain't rap. If these you know why Pimp a Butterfly? You know why the Pimp a Butterfly had such high accolades? Because it was a musical because, masterpiece. No, because to you, to you new blacks, and you're you're teeter tottering on the new blacks. You're oh, that's almost, some bullshit! Yeah, you would have no, lost your mind. Oh, here we go with this almost, shit. You do miss the new black cutoff by a couple of years. You're you lying. That. You that's cat. <laughs> <laughs> you barely missed it. <laughs> I was nowhere near the new blacks. I rejected university. Listen, to pip a butterfly is reasonable doubt to new blacks. That's what it is. I've seen that take. That was a terrible take. <laughs> it, it is. No, it's not. It sounds nothing like uh, reasonable doubt. Uh, no. There's a terrible comparison. Reasonable Doubt, first of all, was Jay-Z's first album. This was Kendrick's third or fourth. No. The, the comparison is it's the classic dad. 
that they did to their to their the soundtrack to their lifestyle and this is what they can compare to like they didn't have you know they weren't they're too old for hove and shit like that boom went to pip a butterfly drop now them niggas talk they they got their blackness now see see then they, then these niggas started turning around they they I'm blacker than black and shit this is the Sean King black you know what I mean that's that's the reasonable doubt to the Sean Kings of the world give me the album where he got 40 40 ounces on the table they in the hood. You know what I mean? Up to look like they up to no good. Give me good kid Madison all day long. That's what I want to hear. That's a that's terrible real. take. That's why J. Cole said the shit was me because J. Cole a real nigga. That's one of your they worst takes. They want to do a poll. They want to do a poll. This is, this is one of your worst takes ever. We could do a poll, but to pimp a butterfly was Hotep. And you all know when the new blacks came out, whose appeal did they steal? Hotep's. They took our Ankh. They took our Kufi. They took our Dashiki. And they took our Shea Butter. And they wrapped it in the new black bullshit. They wrapped it in trans bullshit. They wrapped it in university black bullshit. To pimp a butterfly was Hotep, and a new black stole it and, and, and misappropriated that beautiful work of black art. That's what happened. The album wasn't for these niggas. They stole it, just like they stole Hotep and tried to drag that through the mud. Now all of a sudden niggas want to have natural hair and all of that shit. That was a hotep thing. That came from the conscious community. These niggas want to look like us, but they don't want to be like us. Hotep, you're a genius. Hotepjesus.com. They want to listen to the music like us, but they don't want to be like us. They don't want to live this life. It's fraudulent. It's exterior. They hotep on the outside, boule black on the inside. To pimp a butterfly was Hotep. Did you that listen to the lyrics? That shit was corporate Hotep. The chat killing you. To pimp a butterfly was Mark Lamont Hill music. <laughs> 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 Who the hell said that? <laughs> he said, when I get signed, homie, I'm going to buy a strap. Straight from the CIA, set it on my lap. Take a few M16s to the hood. Pass them all out on the block. What's good? I'm going to put, put the Compton swap meet by the White House. Republican run up, get socked out. Hit up the press with a Cuban link on my neck. What are you talking about? This shit was, this was the real. Listen, it's just not for me. I prefer the Kendrick on Good Kid Medicine in Section 8. That's the, that's the style I like. You know what I mean? You sophisticated Negroes, you wealthy Negroes, you boule Negroes. Yeah, y'all like to pimp a butterfly. I can I can see that. But me and J. Cole, we's not from that, we not cut from that claw. Back to the J. Cole. The yams? The yams? You couldn't appreciate the yams? This nigga talking shit. I'ma re-listen to it. I'm gonna come I back can dig rapping. But rapping with a Ghost Rider, what the fuck happened? I swore I wouldn't tell, but most of y'all sharing bars like you got the bottom bunk in a two-man cell. In a two-man cell? Something's in the water. This shit was black culture. This shit was... This, this shit was the 70s mixed with the 90s. It couldn't have got more hotep than this. That's Barack Obama music. <laughs> you know what I mean? Please. Let's play that. Play, play that. Play. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Michelle, put on that to him, brother. Boule, <laughs> <laughs> that's not Boule rap on her. Come on, man. You got to admit that. This shit is not Boule rap. 
<laughs> this shit was soul music. And you niggas lost your soul because you want to hear ignorant shit. That's why the next album was called Damn. And if you look at his face, he was depressed because you niggas want ignorant music. You don't want soul. You don't want soul. You don't want real black music. You want ignorance. You want to stay in your ignorance. You don't want to be uplifted out of your ignorance. I don't think, I don't think good kids, we're going to get back to Cole, but I don't think good kids, Mad City was selling ignorance. I think he sold a story with that. Who sold a story? Kendrick. On what? Good Kid, Mad City. I love Good Kid, Good Kid, Mad City. Right, but I don't. I mean, it was just. It was. It was. I don't think that Section was Eighty, totally Good Kid, Mad City. I love those two albums. Yeah, absolutely. All right. I was there uh, in 2011, Irvin Plaza. I sponsored Kendrick Lamar's event. I was there okay. from the very beginning. Okay. I, I follow all of Kendrick Lamar's uh, music. I also love 70s soul music. And he, he gave us that. Niggas don't like 70s soul music. Now all of a sudden you niggas don't like Marvin Gaye. You don't like funk. All of a sudden niggas don't like funk. This is this, see, this is the problem with y'all niggas. This is this is why Beyonce can't drop a country album. Why? Cause niggas create some shit that's not hip hop. And then you 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 boule nigga nigga niggas niggas you boule niggas come around and castigate that shit and then you say and then the white man say no we invented we invented western music we invented country music so now niggas can't make country music so when the white man come around he drop a funk album and then a nigga drop a funk album behind him we gonna be saying white people own funk music. No, funk was us. And, and K-Dot pays tribute to funk, a style of music, mixes with hip-hop, and now y'all niggas don't want funk? But let the white man pick up funk, here y'all go. They culturally appropriating. It's funk. This is a style of music that we created. And y'all don't want funk? Why? Because you want to hear niggas talk about shooting each other? Because you want to hear about niggas drinking alcohol? Half you niggas didn't even get the message in Swimming Pools and Drink. Swimming Pools and Drink was about you motherfuckers having an alcohol problem, and y'all niggas went out and drank alcohol to the problem, but he's talking about people being alcoholics. K-Dot giving y'all the message. And then then right after that, I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to show y'all, this is, this is, this is Kendrick's face after y'all rejected to pimp a butterfly. This is his face. This is this is K Dot's face on the cover of Damn, and then y'all love Damn. This is his face. He felt dejected, and he was talking to you niggas saying, "Damn, you couldn't respect real music." I put together the Isley Brothers and George Clinton and Bilal and all these real musical creators. And y'all didn't want that shit? Y'all rejected that shit? He was the hot kid on the block. Of course they went, they ran the fucking world with him. It's the worst out of those three albums. Back to J. Cole. I'm telling you, Unc the Real Cool here. Go ahead, go back to J. Cole, because obviously y'all niggas lost y'all soul. <laughs> J. Cole dis. And part of that dis was saying to Pippa Butterfly was mid. Right. Which may or may not be true. Better on who you ask. The song that was only out like a day and a half, two days. And he, he he has a Dreamville festival. We gotta play the we gotta play the tape. I didn't even listen to the apology. <laughs> Let me see. Is it is it in the, is it in the chat? Got it in the chat. It's in the report. Yeah, forty five seconds. Okay, hold on.
Oh, here we go. All right. Are right, you ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Moving incorrectly, and I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way, and if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'ma take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. Oh. You know I mean, like, all good. Like, it's it's love, and I pray that you know, I pray that y'all are like. Forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path because I ain't gonna lie to y'all Past two days felt terrible like it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years So all of that to say man, I want to I want to now perform the song. That's a reminder to me of Getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God and the name of the song is called love yours I'm for y'all right now. Moving incorrectly and I pray Who mans is this? Who mans is this? Listen. Listen. No, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was listening to uh Nerds Podcast. Go uh uh don't listen to me. If y'all listen to podcasts, go listen to that. Go subscribe. What? No church yeah. in a while? Well, he, they I think he, they changed the name up. They don't listen to me. Don't listen to me, okay. And they you do, usually do rap burials, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was going. It, they had the music playing. They, they was like, "Oh, I'm gonna play do." A, yeah, I thought they was gonna do a burial for Cole. Mm. They said he gonna get in the casket because he don't want to live on the earth where fucking this shit is fucking cool. Fell out. I I don't know, but nerd had to take that. This isn't going to matter to J. Cole fans. It's not. Because all his fans is fucking women. Women and light skinned niggas. And people with bad taste in music. Nigga, I went to the gym. College crowd. In the college Younger. crowd, right. Everybody who hasn't grown up and they nuts haven't dropped yet. Fucking pubescent ass motherfuckers. Real niggas not listening to J. Cole. Real niggas never listen to J. Cole. Listen. Oh, come on, man. Stop, stop. The real stop. niggas never listen to J. Cole. No, man. Come on. When he came out with that, that track with Cam, you niggas jumped right on board. I don't want to hear that shit, man. He got one or two tracks. He got something on the radio right now that's a bop. I love the record. Album J. Cole? I, I Listen. I'm going to tell you how much I don't like J. Cole. Okay? At the same time, I will give him his flowers. He rap on every track. He lyrically nice on every track. That shit puts me to sleep. He don't say nothing that motivates me to fucking care about what the fuck he's talking about. He's saying a bunch of words and they sound good together and he's got double entendres and metaphors and similes. But what the fuck are you talking about? I woke up, I went to the gym, I decided to play Black Moon that morning. Now, I went to Apple Music, and Apple Music told me the new J. Cole album was out. I said, I'm not listening to no new J. Cole. Now, in between sets, I seen the internet talking about he dissed uh, K-Dot. So I turned Black Moon off. I was playing Black Moon first album. I turned that off to go listen to J. Cole, sorry ass. And the album was not memorable. There was nothing on that album that was memorable. Not a damn thing. I will never listen to that album again. And I was upset. I cut off Black Moon to listen to that shit. The shit from 96 was better than that shit. Then he going to apologize? When has anybody in hip-hop ever apologized for a diss record? It hasn't happened. This is unprecedented. This is the most light-skinned nigga shit to ever happen in the history of human beings. He loses his hip-hop license for this shit. Come on. J. Cole has lost his hip-hop license. He should not be allowed back in the studio. Come on, stop. I'm dead serious. That's your man. That ain't my man's. He from down there by you. No, no, no. Who he put from him Pennsylvania on? or some shit. Who put him on? Let's hear it. <laughs> Who put J. Cole on? 
<laughs> just here to see this chit chat. <laughs> <laughs> Your man put him on. Um, I was disappointed he apologized. To be be fair, I'm like, man, fucking go swing it. But I think, and I think Button had to take, like, the streets are saying, like, they, the streets are saying they both Drake, both Drake and Kendrick got, they got fucking, they got the ammo ready, right? Drake so I think somebody no called up ready. J. Cole was like, yo, man, you better lay low. <laughs> <laughs> you better get out of this shit right now. Or you gonna be in the middle of some shit. <laughs> <laughs> he said, fuck, I'm gonna go and clear this up online on the concert tonight. <laughs> Kendrick's like, bet. Oh, I'm gonna take your name off the fucking thing. He clipped him out the verse. <laughs> no, Drake's not responding. Drake's not built for this shit neither. Drake's only responded to one person. That was Meek Mill. He, when, he did respond first to, to first round of Pusher. And the second round? He was he crying. He was crying after the second round. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to talk about my son. What happened when Button dug in his ass? He, he, that was crazy. Button has some crazy diss on the fucking... Button... <laughs> When Button diss Drake, I played that record all day long. I was riding around Piscataway, New Jersey with that shit up loud as hell. He destroyed Drake. Did Drake respond? No. Drake's not built for this. He doesn't have the lyrical capacity to stand in the hip hop ring with Kendrick Lamar. He needs to just cut it the fuck out, take this L and 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 make another ladies track and put barrettes in his hair. That's what he needs to do. I think he can get, get with him. No, he can't. Can't even I gotta hear I gotta hear from Kendrick. See, Kendrick is good for popping on somebody's shit, going crazy on a verse. And everybody go crazy. This is the second time he did that shit. Remember that control verse back in the day? Now he did the same thing. This is his MO. This nigga might be a plant. Might be. <laughs> might be. <laughs> Listen. So he got to come up with a full song. It's got to be a back. full verse. I don't want to hear a bar and a line and some subtweeting. It's got to be a full on song. We need a whole three minutes, two minutes minimum of bars. Otherwise, it don't count. Hey, God, respond. It can't be a feature on somebody else's song and you drop a sneak this. This he's got to come with a full on ether takeover. This is the bar that has been set by icons in hip hop. If Drake doesn't meet that bar, I don't want to hear it. The streets is saying, oh, he's got a he's uh, I spoke to some rappers and they said Drake's got some shit. They, he got some shit. Then they ain't got shit. I'm telling you now, I know Drake ain't got no shit. And you heard it here first. It's going to be weeks from now, crickets. We're going to be saying, where's that Drake track? Where's that Drake track? Where is it? Crickets. I don't know. It's supposed to be here already. Jay Colden dropped a diss track and apologized, and Drake still hasn't responded. <laughs> What is taking so long? It didn't take Nas but 48, 48 hours to respond to Hove. What's taking so long? The engineer got to mix the record? You waiting for the master? You need the sample to clear? What are we waiting on? Drake ain't got no diss coming. Y'all keep waiting. You can keep listening to these podcast niggas that'll tell you that, that a, a Drake diss track coming. I'm not waiting. I know it's not coming. He don't want that sauce. He's not built for this. He's not hip hop. 
He got to. All right. He got this on the song. That's the number one album, number one single in the country. They was playing this shit in clubs. They playing it as it is kids fucking uh his kids daycare. Meek shit. don't count. How Meek count Meek got the white boys out here having him uh bounce up and down like a, no, a, a no, bunny. I'm saying like if I'm Drake, I gotta respond because this this song is it, this song's a hit that got he got dissed on. It's a hit. He's gotta he respond. respond. Correct. He's gotta respond. Correct. But will he? We waiting. Tick tock, motherfucker. Tick tock. I don't know. He waiting for a beat. He got he got to come up with a banger. He it's or he ain't gonna go drop nothing. Somebody said Drake dropping tonight. All right. I think the future is dropping another song, another album tonight or something. I, I hope Drake drops something. I hope he do. I want him to. Just so Kendrick can respond and ether that motherfucker. If Drake knew any better, he will not respond. So who's going to come out the biggest, out of, the best out of this? I mean, who's going to come out of this in the best position? J. Cole, Drake, or Kendrick? K-Dot. K-Dot is the last of the real hip-hop. Not, not, see, not in your opinion. How, because we just said it, it's not going to matter to Cole. Cole sell good every time he come out. Sales don't mean hip-hop. I know hip hop's not hip hop, man. That hip hop shit, hip hop been dead. Nigga. Hip hop is dead. And no, it's not. TD is hip hop. Abso album drop, that shit was fire. Schoolboy just dropped, that shit was fire. J Rock. Like, what we gotta do? TDE is the last of hip hop now here. A at least at the mainstream level. The rest yeah, of these niggas ain't cooking. Yeah, he said TDE is hip hop. TDE not hip hop? Who the last? Who the last when, people that had a oh, fire BET freestyle? Uh, BET cipher freestyle. Who's the most memorable BET freestyle? Cipher freestyle. Let's go. Don't look it up. I see you on Google. Who got the dopest BET cipher freestyle? Huh? Uh. The Eminem drip button. Slaughterhouse, correct. Dist, dist, dist. Drake still hasn't responded. Button next. Mm -hmm. How's TDE hip hop? One of the TDE members was had a sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> Who had Giving a sex tape? Some dude and shit, right? Who? <laughs> Zelia Banks. <laughs> <laughs> what is his name, Chad? What's the, what's the guy I'm talking about, Chad? One of them niggas is sweeter than goddamn um, Lil Nas X. <laughs> nobody sweeter, nobody sweeter than Lil Nas All right. X. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, Ray Vaughn. Ray Vaughn is TDE. Scissor TDE. TDE is the hottest thing out right now. The last of the real niggas is, is over there at uh, TDE. Isaiah Rashad. Oh, yeah, that was Isaiah Rashad. <laughs> 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 that nigga was wildin'. <laughs> that nigga was definitely wildin'. <laughs> That's a rare L for TDE. <laughs> but we don't even claim him. We not claiming Isaiah Rashad. Oh, um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, hip hop has changed. You know, um, he didn't want no sauce. Patriot Jesse, you shout out the West Coast. Uh, 
Rap Nick says, yeah, he gay, but his music is good. Is is Zay Rashad music good? I ain't really listen, never listened to it. I don't know. Um I don't know. I mean, it seemed to me J. Cole just got caught up in the moment. All the minute he started reading tweets and said, Oh, let me get it back in. Let me get in the booth and say something. Cool. And he got it outside himself. J. Cole. <laughs> I presented my friend. I'm sorry, my bad. And if he, if he said if he respond, I'm just gonna take it on the chin. No diddy. Guy said he gonna take it on the chin and keep it moving. <laughs> what kind of shit is this? You sat down and wrote the whole disc record. Then you recorded it. Listen to the playback. Listen to the mix. Listen to the master. Uploaded the shit to SoundCloud and Apple Music. And then decided you didn't want it. I can't stand that. That's terrible. That's terrible. I don't know. I don't know. Let me, let me read the. Uh, I'm gonna read the uh, super chats. Jabari, I was waiting on AJ to hit me up uh, to stream from a restaurant, but he just needed a couple of days off. I was waiting on that grift. Oh, damn. That was a good idea. I'd have to bring my whole machine down that motherfucker. Jabari, my boy's aiming at the wrong Lebanon, our bed. <laughs> was it? Oh, it was Lebanon, New Jersey. That's why I was con I was confused when I walked up. I said, Lebanon, what happened? Mm. It was New Jersey. I was like, oh, shit. Cannon, who the, what up, Cannon? H.A. got any neighbors, he must be balling. <laughs> Not That's yet. Boulay Negroes, man. Boulay Negroes. Boulay mm. Negroes live near Indians. Listen to Pimple Butterfly. Listen, I'm renting, man. I'm renting. I'm barely making it oh, out here. God My Indian me. landlord just raised rent another $300 on us. Damn. Yeah. Shit rough, nigga. They try to get you out of here. They were like, oh, well, how, what did, how did he get in here? <laughs> 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 hey, try to squeeze our black asses up. <laughs> it hurt signing that lease again. <laughs> no, um, hey, uh, Cannon, uh, HA got Indian neighbor, neighbors. He, uh, oh, I read that. Uh, Jabari Fresh ain't been the same since he been HJ. Yeah, it's one thing you don't want to do is screw me over, right? My dad told me a story. He said that, um, I got a great aunt and my great aunt is some sort of like Oracle witch or some shit. And when I was a baby, she casted a spell on me that said that any, if anybody do wrong by me, like bad luck going to hit them heavy. So when fresh and fit tried to blackball me, I just sat back and listened, let my great aunt go to work. My can uh, gifted one membership. Chad, me and Trey started Black Dad, White Dad specifically, specifically to fill the void with actual real shit that will help young men become responsible husbands and fathers. Sub the Strong Dad channel and check it out. Salute. Someone put a link in the chat. Y'all go uh, sub to his sub to that channel. I, think I need everybody. 339. YouTube. Let me find it. Someone put the link in the chat. I need y'all to sub. Chad, Ben and Matt doing Con Ain't Court. Not as cringe as Ben reading WAP. What has pussy lyrics? Uh, everything on God. That Jack ends up uh, great value brand remix. I'm still not over that. What? Oh, when... R, Daily, Daily Wire crew getting sloppy seconds. Okay. Jeb to the maximum. It looks like Con Ain't needs to pay reparations after all. Jabari. Nicole Brown owned money to the cartels. Other people at the restaurant she used to frequent also went out the same way. Look up Wonderland Murders in Hollywood. Similar scenario. OJ didn't do it, but the Mexicans probably did. Uh oh. Jeez. oh See? Man, That's a real nigga right there. Oh, this a real hotel brother. Anthony Bailey. OJ, Chloe Kardashian's pops. I think so. Yeah. She ain't a big bitch for nothing. 
She got full back shoulders. She's the least pretty of all the Kardashians. She look like OJ. Is she? I think that's OJ baby. Deontay, De- uh, Deontay Diam- Diamante. All college wants to do is re-educate you and have you out there talking like Mark Lamont Hill. <laughs> Facts. You see the niggas in Philly were shooting at, after, at the EID after Ramadan. Yeah, what was up with that? I saw that. That really happened? Yeah, it really happened. They were shooting at the uh, Ramadan? Yeah, <laughs> niggas is wild out here, man. Damn. I thought that was fake news. No, it wasn't fake news. I'm surprised it didn't go viral. I mean, I I tried to pump it. I was like, fuck it. Let me try to pump it. I want, I want niggas to talk about it. Nah, man, because them niggas got to get out get, get out of control, man. That's, that shit's wild, man. Like, niggas don't ever want to fucking be right, man. Like, But it wasn't the Muslims that was fighting, that was shooting. No, it wasn't the Muslims shooting at each other. The Muslims shooting each other? Mm-hmm. Everybody in Philly is Muslim anyway. What are you talking about? That's true. All of them, <laughs> yeah, all of them niggas are Sunni and shit. Yeah. Uh, Joe Music, uh, Uncle Hotep. That's all he says. Um, Jamar Youngblood. Uncle is going to be the f- first famous black dude with a white woman. <laughs> Protect this nigga at all costs. <laughs> Y'all gotta quit. Man. I just want black men to stop. Just like this is what Fresh is going through right now. Like he don't want to, you know. You get him an Asian girl. You know what I mean? He don't want to face the heat. Don't be afraid. Don't not face the heat. That's true. You gotta face that shit head on. You gotta face that head on, man. Pause. No diddy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Big Poppy. Andrew McCutcheon went on Ellen and pros his white girlfriend. He's still playing baseball one MVP in 2013. There you go. Big Poppy with the win. Who is Andrew oh. McCutcheon? And and baseball's not a real sport. Nobody cares about baseball. Oh, fuck one, man. Stop. Stop, man. Baseball is not a real sport, yo. Like. I think it's like you miss miss miscegenation Twitter. Y'all only care no y'all motherfuckers is online with this shit. I mean, there's there's folks in, out in the real world like that too. You know what I mean? But like y'all not the majority. You know, like nobody care about the fuck y'all fucking care about man. Like shut the fuck up, nigga. Let me get some of this white pussy. Like nobody <laughs> fucking be watching. <laughs> That's what real niggas is saying. Like, get the fuck up. I'm gonna get some Spanish drone. I'm like, nobody fucking care what you niggas have to say. Go stay with that black queen. Like, I'm do what the fuck I want, man. It's my fucking penis, nigga. That's what niggas is real niggas is saying. Nobody worry about what y'all saying. That's what Coons that is saying. That shit went out the window, man. That's what Coons is saying. <laughs> that shit went out the fucking window in 1990, man. Like, no. nobody care about that shit. Real niggas is sticking with the tribe. What tribe? You know what tribe I'm talking about. Nigga, one moment you're tethered, one moment you FBA, you got your <laughs> fucking toes dipping, two different waters. <laughs> you can't even pick a tribe. <laughs> I'm in all them tribes, nigga. <laughs> I'm tethered when convenient, and I'm ADOS when convenient. <laughs> I'm bouncing between the two, nigga. All y'all niggas need my help. Fuck that. I don't know. It don't got no shot because, like, you just look at the fucking... I don't know. You look at the, the TVs and the propaganda, man. Every black girl got a white dude on the TVs. <laughs> you, seen, you seen Romeo and Juliet? Yeah. They put it with that white man. That's a wrap. Now, see, I I could understand if Con Inc. was mad if Romeo was white, I mean, was black and Juliet was black. You know what I mean? That would have been like true cultural appropriation. But they don't even see the power in the fact that, you know, they got the white woman bowing down to the white man. 
I mean, the black woman down, down to the way, man. They don't even see the power in that. They just so busy being triggered. I don't even know. What, what the fuck is Romeo and Juliet about? Um, I don't know. Two dumb motherfuckers that kill each other because they ain't love. They kill each other? Yeah. They kill That's themselves. That's the story is? I yeah, never they, fucking... Yeah, they kill themselves. They can't be together, so they kill themselves. Really? That's the, that's the story of Romeo and Juliet? I yeah. never really... Oh, man. White people shit. You mean the sister's gonna die and kill herself over with a white man? <laughs> that's gonna be cinema. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, this, is, this is Broadway, though. This isn't... It's oh, not, it's just Broadway. It's not a movie. It's just Broadway. Yeah, it's theater. So it's a little bit different. It's not exactly DEI. Mm. And it's London, it's London Broadway. So they got Spider Man and, and Wanda, you know. Oh man. Yeah. But they said they mad because she ugly. I mean <laughs> I seen uh, Shout out ABL. ABL said uh, she's not classically beauty, right? What do you mean she's not not beautiful? What are you talking about? She's like it's he's like, yo, she's not classically beautiful, and that's okay. He was trying to go at him. <laughs> he took his head off. <laughs> oh, she just ABL trying to be a real kid. nigga. It, it real huh? nigga, ABL trying to be a real nigga, but it's too late for that. No, it's not too late. It's never too late to be a real nigga. No, against the right it is. They going to cancel your ass. No. That's why they was on his biscuit. They can't. The fucking right is fucking washed. They let's is, let's they be is for washed. real. They is definitely they washed. They fucking washed, right? Yeah, the right is washed. <laughs> he fucking got... If Candace the hardest nigga out there, oh, what do they got? That's all they got. The white now right is... Who in Con Inc. is bigger than Candace? The white right is being led by a black woman. <laughs> Biggest fall off in the history of humanity. Is it a fall off or they've been... What's the word for it? What's the when when the, them, them alpha boys do when they fucking... Demor take, demoralize? They fucking, uh, co op Yeah, co-opt. I think it's more de demoralization than co opt but it, they they been co opt like they definitely been co opt I mean, you look at you know uh, Charlie Jerk and you know with Daily Liar and all these cats. They're, they're definitely the feds, you know. Um, so it's definitely been co opted. Like Ruben, was it Dave Ruben, Mark Ruben? Yeah. Who's that Ruben dude? Yeah. Yeah. They definitely been feds. Yeah. Charlie's, you know, but I knew it was a rap once they had the trans people running around in their circles. Jamar Jordan, rest in peace, Juice. He didn't do it. OG don't OGs don't crash out like that. Right. We got some black names: Jamar Jordan, Jamar Young Blood. Got real niggas in the chat. Bees, cheese, and wine, please. What do you think about the theory OJ was only accessory and Jason OJ's son did it? Jason saw Nicole and Ron kissing on the doorstep and rage killed him. He hated Nicole as a gold digging cheater. Then OJ covered him, covered for him. That sounds plausible too. Pattern shifter. Hotep, you should attend a Knicks game this year. FanDuel giving out reparations all year. Brunson going for 40. Right. Playoffs are almost here. Embiid is back. Big Poppy. You were you were jump on the Sixers bandwagon. Embiid is back. The un, Untitled Unmastered is another Kendrick classic. The the the, the Pimp of Butterfly is a masterpiece. Masterpiece. Really masterpiece. Tell him again, please. Y'all really think Pimp Butterfly is masterpiece? Masterpiece, sir. I'm sorry, man. Like, 
and the pantheon of hip hop at classic albums, right? Should be like a short list, even though it's get expanded all the time. But um, I will say he's the best out of this generation of rappers. You know what I mean? Uh, this new era, right? You know, uh, but I can't do Pimp Butterfly. I'll listen to Good Kid Massey. I'll listen to it all day. I just can't do Pimp Butterfly. Yeah, to me, it's corporate hotep. You know what I mean? <sighs> like, he fucking... It's you like he did. Somebody gave him take. Somebody gave him hotep takes to take. You know what I mean? And shit. Like, like them L.A. niggas. Shout out to Pedro J. Them L.A. niggas be on some different shit. It's fun. No, but like, uh, what Vinny Staples? <laughs> right. Vince Staples <laughs> is hilarious. His show is amazing. He called up the Button Paul Joe Button podcast and Joe Button podcast. He said, uh. And he, they wanted to ask him about the beef, right? He said, he didn't want nothing to do with it. He said, you niggas are soft-shoeing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Soft-shoeing and cooning. Yeah. It's important. It. You know, then he started like, you know, we talk about the potion and shit like that. He went on this fucking tangent and shit. Like, niggas talking about soft-shoeing in 2024. Mm. Niggas, <laughs> niggas on the show didn't even know, I, I think it was officially like, he was like, what the fuck is soft-shoeing? Tap dance. Then he's like, he's like, niggas don't. You, you don't even know what it, you, who who didn't know about our soft shoe one. Mm. You can't be a real African. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vince oh, Staples a real nigga. First, you niggas is not African. Man. You niggas is from fucking Watts, fucking <laughs> Compton, fucking. You know, hey, they go that colonizer talk. No, man, you niggas is not African. I'm not African. We not African. African. You definitely African. I'm from Exton, you know, listen. I'm, I'm just a black man from Exton, Pennsylvania. What you want me to say? If I type in black man from Ghana right now, they president going to look just like you. Look, I found Uncle Hotep just that fast. Look, y'all. This nigga got a 20 right here. This unk right there. What do you mean you not from Africa, nigga? They got a hundred niggas over there that look just like you. You from Ghana, nigga. I already know your phenotype. I know what part of Africa you from. These your niggas right here. This your family. Look. Listen, I definitely want to go to the motherland before I leave this earth. I'm going to take these two fucking light bright kids that I got. You got to be around some real niggas all, <laughs> all day, right? <laughs> You're going to stay all day. You ain't going to see no white folks all day, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Um, but I can't claim them. I can't claim African. You know what I mean? I think it's unfair to the Africans that come over here. Right, like, to the white man, yo ass African. I, I don't I, see. That's the point. This is the black people's problem. If whatever the white man say goes. No, because the white man know better than you. The white man know who Says you who? is. You don't know who you is. No, uh, not to me. Not no, not on that fact. How a black they American anything. became? They'll call fucking see, see to the white man, uh, Patrick Mahomes nigga. But to you, Patrick. But to you, Patrick Mahomes is Patrick dying. Mahomes is not black to the white man. Stop I it. Bet you a damn lie. Nobody thinks he's black. Shit. Stop if the you cap. got one sixteenth of the nigga in you, you fucking nobody. <laughs> you to the, to the nobody considers Patrick Mahomes black. Stop it. That's cap, I'm bro. You, listen, I think it's not black, yo. You gotta take. You gotta put culturally the language. That's one thing. If I could speak Ghana and all that other say, yeah, I'm an African. Who niggas gonna claim the shit? I'm shine. FBA, you know what I mean? Black American, ex in Pennsylvania. Can't take nothing away from, the, you know what I mean? The African immigrants that come over here, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, how long is human beings going to be tied, is going to tie their heritage to a landmass? At a certain point, you got to cut it off. It'd be 20 generations. None of you niggas went back home to Africa, but you're going to still call yourself Africans.
No one in your family even went to the fucking smelt the Ivory Coast. And you got nerve to call yourself African. Hold on, put your face up real fast so we can put you 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 side by side with this nigga. <laughs> 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 you African nigga. You just got amnesia. White man knocked you upside the head so hard you forgot who you was. I'm black. I keep telling you, I'm. I'm just a black man from Exton, Pennsylvania. Come yeah. on, man. Ain't no Exton, Pennsylvania in Africa. That's why I was fucking foreign. What are you talking about? Um. Oh, wrong mouse. Um, Your name is Kuma. What's up, Tiger? Kendrick fans have hair on their chest. Real men. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Who would you compare Kendrick Lamar to? Hip hop one. From any era. Jay Z. He like a mix between Jay Z and. Wayne but he's so different he's so different from everybody it's really hard because he's even got like that Eminem type feel to him where he gets like out of character like he's got the different voices like Jay-Z never did different voices right um Eminem did different voices um he's you mean that white man told him how to rap told him how to rap <laughs> no did, did you, Eminem got that from us? Oh, here he goes, man. Here he goes, chat. See? There you go, you know, damn well Kendrick learned from M. He had M pictures on his wall and shit. Come on, man. M got his style from Master Ace. A black man. That don't, don't matter. But see, see how niggas is, chat. When you present them with the evidence, they gonna block it like they, they gonna stretch it and shit. Like, no nah, man. You the coon in the You know, you. Dan Kendrick is heavily influenced by Eminem. No. And that's okay. Mildly, maybe. Nigga, mildly my ass, man. He lived in Compton, came up, Eminem came up under Dre in, in, in them. Come on, man. He rapped just like him half the time. This nigga put some fucking collard greens on Eminem style and ran with it. That's what the fuck <laughs> <happened>. <laughs> You know what I mean? Came out to Pippa Butterfly. You niggas loved it. This <laughs> nigga ain't shit. <laughs> um, the center of Loki. Oh, wait, wait. Nas Williams. Jay-Z apologized to Nas on radio. How about that HA 2-6 stand up? No, he didn't apologize for the for takeover he apologized for um um he talk about his baby moms no. he, he apologized about talking about his baby moms he didn't apologize for the diss record y'all niggas wasn't there you was 20 26 years old Nas Williams Shit, you wasn't around you wasn't around when takeover dropped super yeah uh super what's the name um, super Super ugly. Thank you. So super ugly drop. Now he didn't ever apologize for Takeo. He apologized for that one line in Super Ugly because he brought Apparently up some his shit. Mom was offended and she she was told him to fucking say something. Yeah. To me, that's just weird. I was like, yo, oh, that just showed me how weird Hope was, man. He really was on Nas' dick, man. He Paul was. was no, no I'll dick. be honest with you. Jay Z is a huge Nas fan. <laughs> He's always been a Nas fan. Because in the early days, I used to tell the homies, I'm like, yo, um, Nas and Jay, uh, and Jay got to do a, a song together or an album together because Jay-Z really loves Nas. If you listen to all of Jay-Z's albums, he say Nas' name in all of them. He's, he is an ultimate Nas fan. I will admit that. Jay-Z's a Nas fan. Um... And I think Jay-Z was hurt because Nas would never collab with him. Emmanuel President, I miss my old heads. Hotel for Bill. Welcome back, Emmanuel. Roscoe, when I was young, my dad told me he alternated his vote between parties each election because his words, they're all crooks. It took me years to understand. Shout out Roscoe, man. Your dad was... Smart man. Smart man. 
Strong Dad Protocol. Here he goes. Here comes Mr. Blackness right here. <laughs> Shit. Let me put I gotta need to get my Kinty cloth, man. Every time I read a strong dad <laughs> protocol fucking super chat. Uh Unk doesn't understand Kendrick because Kendrick wasn't rapping to old niggas. He was rapping to late eighties babies. The ADHD generation. It's impactful to 34 year olds. Unk like two hundred or some shit. Facts. Talk to him, strong dad. Makes them talk some sense into this nigga, man. Listen, man. I I know y'all love niggas love Kendrick. I like Kendrick too, but man, it's just like Eminem is better than Nas. I'll never Yo, fucking play fuck? pinball. I'll, I'm gonna play pinball fly one time, one more time, so I can I can uh, not walk the dog this week. The rest of this weekend, I'm gonna play it. May I play it? Listen, to Jay, listen to it. Um, we need a Jason Rose. We need a plagiarism band like the Tweet Burglar. Yeah, we're gonna have to put his face on there. Someone make an animation. Plagiarism band. I'm gonna make it suit. I don't know. Damn tunnel diggers. <laughs> All right, so we had the earthquake this week. We talk about that. Um, what are we talking about? Um, so the last one here is uh, comedian Gerard Carmichael openly admits to his audience that he's into race play and jokes that he himself is a slave and his white boyfriend is his slave master. The fact that he has a platform to spew this mess makes him a danger to the black queer community. What the fuck is the black queer community? What the fuck does queer mean? I don't know. I was going to just ditch that story. I didn't want to. I, I don't know if <laughs> Gerard Michael was, but I heard, I read something that, uh, what's that dude from uh, that other dude from LA? Um, you make that uh with uh fuck who? Oh. He won a Grammy for best album of the year. He he rapped kind of um. Oh, Killer Mike. Niggas. No, the skate out California skateboard niggas. Lupe Fiasco. Out L A. L A. Skateboard. Oh. Uh... Patriot J, who am I talking about? Oh, you talking about um oh uh Tyler the Creator in them. Yeah, Tyler. Yeah. I read a tweet and I just kept I was like, man, what the fuck is going on? I was like, that Jared tried to hit on Tyler and Tyler Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they wanted a white man to beat it up. <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> Odd future. That's what I meant. Odd future. Yeah. Oh, so so what's going on over on the miscegenation side of things? Are y'all doing race play? No, not really. Not really. So a little bit. You do a little race play. <laughs> Massa ain't Why home. Why do you always ask me Because <laughs> I know you into that shit. <laughs> Massa ain't home. I'm about to sneak inside the house. <laughs> Even if I was into it, I would never admit it. <laughs> <laughs> do you know any other niggas that's into it? <laughs> I don't know. Fuck, nobody discussed that. Yo, I like in I like homes. <laughs> I like doing race play with my pole. Like, nobody fucking <laughs> shit, man. I think like, yeah. why is this guy saying that? Because they're fucking totally weirdos, man. Like, who the fuck is Gerard Carmichael anyway? Like, I don't even know what, why, because then I think HBO has a fucking st a special one. I, like, I scroll down, and you get to see this nigga in some fucking underwear. Like, why do these DJs always get the push? No, no Diddy. We know why. Right, I don't know why I'm asking the question. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Um, but yeah, I was gonna skip that 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 story. I, don't know. I, didn't I think care. I think the miscegenation boys be tagging a pug, talking about some call me nigga, call me nigga, baby, call me nigga. <laughs> I think that's what be going on. <laughs>
<laughs> Jabari said he's in the H cosplay. Come on, Jabari. He's in the what? H cost. Dolphin though. He's in a play. He <laughs> Strong Dad said Uncle Dusty definitely does race play. Niggas be dressed up like Frederick Douglass in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know what y'all don't like. I I I guess because, like I say, man, like I grew up in you know where I grew up. But if I grew up where you niggas grew up, maybe I have the same takes as y'all. But I'm just <laughs> what are you trying to say? Because your environment we... has a strong uh, influence in, on. Who you date, how you act, what do you talk, how you talk, and everything else. Like it, it wasn't weird to you guys. It's weird, but like to the people in Pennsylvania, that shit is not weird. It's like everywhere. Niggas is parking. Niggas is parking everywhere in Pennsylvania. Yeah, walking down the street, there's niggas with white women everywhere. Not no, not no crazy like that. But it's nothing weird. You guys act like it's weird and shit. Like. <laughs> Did you niggas touch grass and shit? Did you did you niggas make it out the hood? You know what I mean? <laughs> so you try to say that dating white women is making is is what you get when you make it out the hood? That's the prize? Is that the trophy? That might be a byproduct. I always had this argument, with my dad. I was like, why do we live around these all these white folks? He said niggas tear up shit. That's what, <laughs> that's what, that was his fucking answer. So when you make it out the hood, the white woman is the trophy. That's how you know you made no, it. No, you see, there, see, you always put in the words in niggas. Mouth. That's what you said. No, that's not what I said. You that's said you niggas what... never made it out the hood. That is a potential byproduct. If you make it out the hood, a potential byproduct is that you get a white woman or a non black or a non black woman. Is this a symbol of status? No. Why would it be a symbol of status? See, you niggas think it's a symbol of status. We knew a woman's a woman. See, that's the problem. Like you got niggas, you niggas don't realize all women are the same. Y'all think it's different. Y'all think they're different. They're not. They're all the same, dog. They're all the same. Are they? Yes. They all gonna get you to. They all gonna pick the apple from the apple tree and get your black ass to eat it. <laughs> You niggas don't get that. They're all the same. Women are all the same. They might have different, they might eat different things, like different things, but at the end of the day, women are women. I, I can't really argue with that. Women tend to be all the fucking same. They try to act like they different, but they not. They all the fucking same. I be telling them that shit too. Y'all motherfuckers is all the same. I don't like it when it's Paul Moon Django. <laughs> Django. <laughs> Seriously, up. My wife told me to act like a real white man, so I turned down the bass and turned up the treble. <laughs> out of control. Listen, Scrabble's making a historic change to the game with less comp competitive, inclusive version to appeal to Generation Z. What? Scrabble. They doing what? They're making changes to the game to make it less competitive and inclusive version. You're getting either DEI Scrabble? Scrabble. They got DEI Scrabble, yes. So what are they opening up the dictionary to like Ebonics now? Oh, pig pigeon? That that British slang? Yeah. Pigeon? Is that what they doing? I don't know. Maybe that's what they're doing. There's more acceptable words now and shit. Like, how can you dumb down Scrabble? That's what I was just about to ask you. How do you dumb down Scrabble? You get a bunch of letters and you make words out of it. What do you get? Like, less points for using the letter Q? The Q is now only worth one point or some shit? Now, how do you fuck up Scrabble? This is, this is what they want. They want niggas to be dumb. This is terrible. Scrabble so it's less competitive? Whoever asked for this? Who asked for this? This is racist. I used to love Scrabble. My family, we played Scrabble. My yeah, mom, my dad, we used to play Scrabble. I had a, I had a board growing up. 
That's why I need to get with these niggas. I need to get a scrabble board. Yeah, you're right. I think I need one too in my family. Yo, we got to talk about this. Mm. What is with this? What happened with this, this astrologer story? Oh, Mystic Lipstick? Yeah, you know her? I've seen her on the timeline a couple of times. I, I usually There's... stay away from spiritual Twitter because them niggas got mental issues. Oh, you dipped out of chakra. You used to be in chakra Twitter. I man. used to be in chakra Twitter and them niggas got weird on me. So I had to bounce. <laughs> like you've been in like, hey, well, hold on. before <laughs> we get to the story, how many different Twitter sections you've been in? Cause that's another one. You've been in chakra Twitter, <laughs> still on Bitcoin's Twitter, still on hooked up Twitter, Twitter, manosphere Twitter, <laughs> conservative Twitter, right? <laughs> Black Super Twitter. Pro -black Super pro black Twitter, right? Hip hop that's Twitter. Six. Hip hop Twitter. That's seven. Yeah. Conspiracy theory Twitter. Conspiracy. That's eight. Damn. Anyway, what happened? What happened? Uh, she threw somebody out because of the eclipse, right? Uh, out of the car. <sighs> Some niggas are saying she got possessed by demons. Some motherfuckers saying she got a mental illness. If you ask me, I think the bitch got a mental illness. She threw her kids out the car. Her husband crashed the car and they all did. Mystic lipstick. But I've been saying all them bitches that pray to rocks, all the motherfuckers got issues. They be taking their rocks. They be putting them in the sun and the moon and they be charging them up all this dumb shit. Bitch, it's a rock. That shit can't do nothing for you. When you start seeing bitches pray to rocks, you got to let that hoe go. She retarded. Hold on, hold on. I'm not trying to troll. Maybe some people have different connections with the earth and other things than oh, no. like you or me. No, no. They are completely sidestepping what it means to be spiritual. These motherfuckers want to rush to the rocks and the pyrite and all this shit. They growing this shit in the lab and selling it to you overpriced. You know, you could grow these fucking chakra rocks in your house, right? Mm -hmm. You could grow the chakra rocks in your house. Can you? Yeah. They got kits for this shit. You grow the chakra rocks in your house and, and then they pray to this shit and they put it in the sunlight and they pretend this shit gives them I wear the green one when I go here. I wear the blue one. It's all placebo bullshit. And this comes back to the fact that women always try to find happiness outside of themselves. So you always see the women run into the chakra rocks because they're looking for happiness outside of themselves. Bitch, you need to find happiness with yourself because when you don't, you end up throwing your kids out the window and crashing the car and fucking committing suicide because you were looking for happiness outside of yourself. You got to sit the fuck down by yourself, leave the fucking chakra rocks alone, meditate and find yourself. Oh, I can't. I can't go outside with my seat train. I can't go outside without my pyrite. Setting all these fucking superstitions and placebo effects. You're fucking retarded, bitch. That's what the fuck is wrong with you. Sit down and be happy. It ain't no different than a bitch being happy with a Gucci bag. Chakra rocks are spiritual BBLs. Hotep, you're a genius. Hotepjesus.com. That's what they is. It's cope. It's cope because motherfuckers don't want to deal with reality. A motherfucking pet rock. That's what these bitches be doing. That's when I left Twitter. When I seen motherfuckers running around talking about you need pet rocks and shit, I was like, yo, I gotta go. I gotta check out. I had to check out a spiritual Twitter. These motherfuckers all got fucking pet rocks and shit. I got a green pet rock, a red pet rock. This one for the full moon. This for the eclipse. Bitch, it's a rock. It don't do shit. You're supposed to put it in your cell phone, motherfucker, and run oh. electricity through it. Don't get me started. A man says, uh, what, how do you say his name? Jehuti? Jehuti. Jehuti. Jehuti, Mont Ra. Yeah. He says she wasn't, she says she got possessed by bad spirits or something. 
She was a good soul, but she was not a dark soul. She was possessed, attacked by dark entities, NEGs. This is a real thing in the 3D realm. The battle is not just for flesh and blood. The physical, it is also spiritual, spiritual wickedness in high places. A example, the mind. Jehudi is, uh, I don't know, every time I see him tweet, he's, he tweets some uh, real shit. He be on point. Yeah. He be on point. So I don't know. I don't know. The whole demon shit, I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I don't know. But some of these motherfuckers might be possessed by demons. I would never try and discount that shit because some of these motherfuckers is demons. True. So I, 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 I'll be honest. See, that's the thing about me. I tell you when I don't know. I don't know. Maybe motherfuckers can be possessed by demons. Motherfuckers be acting crazy. Maybe that's what the fuck is going on. I don't know. All I know is, like I seen somebody in the chat talking about I thousand percent uh, disagree with you. You keep playing with them rocks if you want to. You know what them rocks is? You ever walk in somebody's house and they got empty Hennessy bottles on, the, on, the, on, on top of their fireplace? Mm -hmm. That's what that shit is. It's the same fucking thing. Empty Hennessy bottles and, 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 and Don Julio and Casamigo bottles is just as spiritual as them fucking rocks y'all be playing with. That's why they call it the spirits. That's why they call it the spirits. Oh, this is a real hotel, brother. Yeah, I saw that story going on. I was just like, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Um, but uh, rest in peace to him. That's a terrible tragedy, to be honest. Well, no matter what happened, I mean, it's a terrible tragedy. Um, Steph Crone asked Unc about the Pog Stan Stanani field. Come on. Yo, fuck. Did you write that? See, I would expect some kind of take from a nigga named Ken Rod Devine. A nigga named Ken Rod Devine would be into some fucking placebo rocks. You believe that shit too. You probably out there in fucking out of space with these motherfucking bimbos too and shit. Talking about these fucking uh, uh, chakra rocks and shit. These motherfuckers lay down. They put one here and one there and one there and one on their nuts and one in their asshole. These fucking niggas got fucking chakra rock butt plugs and shit. Y'all niggas is corny, B. Y'all corny. You corny. That shit for females. You a grown ass man. Leave them chakra rocks alone, bro. Them shits is corny, B. Them shits is called placebo rocks, nigga. Fuck is wrong with you? All love, Ken Ra. All love, but your name and, and, and your comments right now are just absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Lead them fucking chakra, lo chakra rocks to the bitches, okay? That's for the hoes. That's not for men, okay? We don't need that shit. We got two rocks and they're in our fucking nuts, bro. Grab uh, your fucking uh, kahunas. Uh, uh, <laughs> You feel me? We got two rocks that God gave us. It's the only fucking rocks we need. We don't need them fucking chakra rocks. Leave them shits to fuck alone. Them shits is for bitches who's scared of every fucking thing. That's who that shit's for. Niggas walk around with rocks on their head and on their ass and all this other bullshit. They don't do shit, nigga. You're supposed to connect that shit to electronics, nigga. It goes inside your cell phone, not your ass. Retarded ass niggas. You niggas read one too many fucking spiritual blogs. Now you got a fucking chakra rock up your ass. Scared of the fucking moon and eclipse and shit. But why was people blaming astrology? Why was because it had the eclipse. The Remember the eclipse was this, this week? I see niggas talk about... Uh... Well, that's why if I see a girl that's in her astrology, I'm I'm taking off. <laughs> I'm fucking. I'm telling you, you get one of them bitches that's in astrology. Them bitches is crazy. And I know, like, uh, uh, I think astrology can take tell you a lot about a person. Listen, I'm not saying this shit not legit. The astrology shit be legit. Motherfuckers just just take that shit too serious. Right. You know what I'm saying? They they lose their mind. 
You know what I mean? They say, oh, here's what, oh, the, the, the fucking Mercury's and lemonade and all this other bullshit, and they lose their goddamn mind. The clip's coming around, and they placebo themselves into being crazy. That's what be the problem. They placebo their own selves into being crazy. Because they look at the stars and the moon and all this shit, and the stars and the moon tell them, oh, they get their readings from another crazy bitch. See, it's crazy motherfuckers buying readings from crazy motherfuckers that's making more crazy motherfuckers. All you niggas got mental illnesses. Shut the fuck up. Read yourself. That's what the fuck you need to do. Read your motherfucking self. These people is retarded. That's why I had to leave spiritual Twitter. I just seen mental illness everywhere. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And the thing is, they give the real astrology motherfuckers a bad rap. Right. Right? And there's certain ways you're supposed to use these rocks. And they're not using these rocks like that. These niggas ain't never connect no electrical frequency to the motherfucking, to the rocks. These niggas going to sleep with the rocks in the windowsill. That's not how the shit. That's not how the white man using the motherfuckers. You didn't put that shit in your cell phone, beam the goddamn shit halfway across the world. You got this shit plugged up your ass. Fuck wrong with y'all. You ain't know how to use the damn rocks. Shit is science, nigga. I hate these chakra rocks, niggas, y'all. My pineal gland closing? You niggas don't even know where the pineal gland is. You niggas don't even know how the pineal gland works. You niggas is so caught up in the pineal gland, the pineal gland ain't even where the magic happens. Hotep, you're a genius. Hotep, this how This is how you niggas is caught the fuck up. Now I got to teach you niggas about yourself. The pineal gland ain't where the magic happens. It's three places that the magic happens and they combine. It's the pineal gland, it's the hypothalamus, and it's the pituitary gland. The magic happens in the pituitary gland. What's wrong with you niggas? See, you niggas read these fucking bimbo blogs and shit and, 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 and hear shit about calcified pineal gland and you don't know shit from shit. You didn't go read no papyrus from ancient Kemet. The papyrus from ancient Kemet talking about the pituitary gland. Here you niggas go talking about the pineal gland because some bitch on the internet with chakra rocks told you about the pineal gland and you think you know something. Niggas never heard about the pituitary gland. Niggas never heard about the endocrine gland system. You niggas is retarded. You never read a science book in your fucking life and want to come in my chat and tell me about this shit. Huh? This is some bullshit. So, so they say the pineal gland is the third eye. It's not the third eye. The number three comes from the combination of the hypothalamus, the pituitary gland, and the pineal gland working together. And one, two, three, those three things come together to create the third eye. You niggas don't know shit. You ain't read shit. You ain't studied shit. You reading blogs and you following chakra rock bitches on Twitter and think you know some shit. You don't know shit. You ain't studied shit. And then you gonna come in my chat, talk to a nigga who studies some shit and tell me I'm wrong and you don't know shit. You couldn't tell me the endocrine gland system that the, the, the fucking chakra system follows. You niggas ain't never manifested shit in your life. You gonna tell me I'm wrong? Because you niggas want to pray to rocks. I don't need to pray to rocks to manifest shit. The power is spiritual and y'all niggas is caught up in the physical. You niggas need to go through physical items to achieve what you want. When you, when you rise above, you don't need physical items no more. You connect directly with source, with God, with conscious, conscious, consciousness. You don't need the physical items. Y'all niggas need them because y'all need crutches for your placebo. But when you master this shit, you don't need no placebo no more. You connect like that.
But y'all niggas need crutches and you get you get caught up and you get dependent on them fucking chakra rocks as crutches. And that's the problem. Then you lose your mind. Oh, I can't find my chakra rock. Oh, oh, no. I'm going to get bad luck because my chakra rock ain't in my pocket. I had it in my left pocket. It's supposed to be in my right pocket. You some superstitious retards. That's what the fuck y'all is. And I'm trying to free y'all minds, but you won't listen because you don't read too many spiritual blogs. You fuck around and read the four agreements and the secret and all this other bullshit. But you ain't never read a biology book. Don't know shit from shit. God is science and science is God. And you niggas is going to tell me about some shit. You don't know shit about science. You don't know shit about the human body. You're going to sit up and tell me what the fuck the third eye is. You don't know shit. Go study up, little niggas. We're saying uh, next next thing we're gonna find out is fucking uh, Ben Shapiro gonna have some fucking shocker rocks on his fucking Daily Wire. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Cannon, Cannon streaming. Cannon's on tonight. Cannon's on tonight. Yeah, my bad. I, I think I think we forgot last week, but uh, uh, yeah, everybody go to Cannon Hotep channel. It's gonna redirect here, uh, Hotep TV uh, over on um. Hotep TV or over on um, Rumble and then Cannon Hotep on YouTube. If you're here, it's going to automatically redirect you to his channel. Uh, but yeah, Cannon Hotep for the official hotel has been told you after party. See, here this dumb nigga go. The crystals don't have power. They amplify your own power. You niggas is dumb. Yo, let's go to Cannon Hotep. These niggas are retarded. He's going to call on your show tomorrow. He, he could call in and come get this work pause. <laughs> it amplify your power. You niggas is so slow. You believe that shit? Who taught you that? Who'd you learn that from? See, that's the thing. You got to start to, 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 to go look at what's the source of the information I got my shit from? What's the source of your information? Let's compare. Let's compare notes. What's your source? And then, and then compare your source to my source. Because my source comes straight from the source. Where, who's your source? Who told you you need some chakra rocks to connect with God? What if you're in the middle of the fucking mountains and you ain't got no chakra rocks? How you going to connect? It's going to amplify your power. You niggas is fucking retarded. That's not how this shit works. Anyway. I'll catch you next time, man. All right. All right. Grim, uh, save the day if you not fake. HJ got a plate and a hot take. They gon' get you moving right. These goofy types and keep the lungs goofy tight. Look, let's get it lit like a Lucy, I right? Show the world what we can build when the crew unite. And why these frauds out finessing your protests? I'm in the gulags playing chess with the hoteps. The hoteps being told you. Don't sweat, bruh, I ain't gonna hold you. Keep receipts for the things that they told you. Ears to the street, they got secrets to go through. The hoteps being told you. Don't sweat, bruh, I ain't gonna hold you. Keep receipts for the things that they told you. Ears to the street, they got secrets to go through. Hotep and build, y'all know the deal. We go in for real and ain't got no chill. Teach me how to grip, teach me, teach me how to grip. Teach me how to grip, teach me, teach me how to grip. Hotep and build, y'all know the deal. We go in for